And welcome to the Price of Vengeance at Chaotic Neutral Games. I'm Simon, your DM for tonight, as we join Danny, Jordan, Felicia and Corinne with their adventures on the high seas of Valeria. Don't forget that you can help or indeed hinder by using your channel points in the game. Check out the options in the chat bar. Uh, there's one that's missing as well that I will be adding for next session. You can also join the chaos by clicking the Discord link below or vote towards the session twist by becoming a subscriber. When I pull my finger out, start button the one on there. So let's join the players. Hello. Hello, everybody. Hello. <laughs> ah, right. Monday. Yeah. Yay. Somehow. I'm so Everyone looks in bad. pain. <laughs> <laughs> I've been cycling ridiculous distances every day, and I hurt. But it's fine. We're, we're here. I can feel the waves washing over <laughs> me. It's cool. It's cool. But... <laughs> okay, I'm really soon. I, oh, yeah, I, I'm by the seaside. <laughs> I'm having fun woke up with a bit of a cough and very achy body which is signs for covid which it's probably not covid is what we yep. think but we're taking the safe before unsafe and yep so i okay. have barricaded her, her in her bedroom there's some cat food that i found that i managed to shove <laughs> on the door before i sealed it hermetically and so uh yeah so now it's, test uh, coming it's yeah. enough yes. for 14 days. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> it's kibble. It, it lasts. It's not going to smell. <laughs> Hello, Scumfuse. Hello, Scumfuse. Hello, um, So, oh, uh, now that I know that Scumfuse is here, I need to send secrets. 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 Whisper the secrets. Uh, it just say, um... Uh, Karen, does that mean you get a two-week holiday from work? No, it's it's not gonna be two week because I'm getting a test probably tomorrow is when it's gonna arrive, but probably a week because it takes for a while for it to like mm -hmm. arrive and get there. The we test. go. Sent a secret to Scumfuse. So, um, you, uh, uh, yeah. How, how how was your weekend? I played uh, Among Us. I downloaded it for the princely sum of three ninety nine. Oh, I was gonna um, recommend that to Jordan because I think he yeah, no um, yeah, I'll do it. Is, I didn't know it was three ninety nine. It's like mm -hmm. Werewolf, but on a spaceship. Mm -hmm. um, I wa I watched a lot of people watch it before we had. Um, well, you know, it's an international number, but you know, if you can just transfer the funds, that'd be fantastic. <laughs> yeah. Um, it, it's just collateral, and then you'll get the full amount. Um, so, um, yeah, it, it, it's uh, it, it's just little cartoon graphics. I've been watching Kate play it and Sean play it and all the rest of it. They said, get it, you know, it, it'll work on yeah. the laptop. And uh, I looked at it, I was like, yeah, that'll, that, even that will work on the laptop. And it's basically just werewolf or mafia, um, but on a spaceship. And yeah, it's good fun. It's one of those things where. And this, like, like actually. I can only play it for like a couple hours, but. You know, when it's people you don't know and you have to kind of determine the bullshit from it all um, and kind of go, is that person bullshitting? Are, are they not? And uh, to start off with, because I was complete 
you know, unknown. I was getting away with a lot, but after a while, they started finding some of my tells. Damn it! And the <laughs> one, the one right at the end, I, I was on again, off again, off again with Kate because I was like, I'm pretty sure I saw something that exonerates her. And then she voted for me. I was like, oh fuck that! No, she must be because you know it's clear that I'm innocent. And so um, uh, I started that uh, we started distracting each other. And then just as I placed my vote, um, and just before I got thrown out of the uh, the airlock. Um, I could hear the smugness in Sean's voice. It just that, <laughs> it dripped, and I was like, my last words before I got pushed out the airlock was, "Oh fuck, it's Sean!" <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, and yeah, as mm. as Prime says, because we're playing with Prime as well, uh, which is fantastic, because it's the first time I actually heard Prime's voice for one thing. Mm -hmm. um, you know, because otherwise I just thought, you know, this is a really advanced bot. You know. It, 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 Put them as modded on everything, um, yeah. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, as Prime's saying that you know, as you're playing the game, you go, "Fuck! Did I see that last game or this game? It is, it is Prime it's still safe? Planes. I'm pretty sure that Prime got scanned. Uh, I was had, that last? and then Prime stabs me in the throat. I, so. I had the moment where I saw because I was in like the <laughs> med bay, and I saw. <laughs> jump out through the vent and run away <laughs> and then she didn't make it there in time <laughs> no because well i didn't know you could hit the emergency like meeting button yeah yeah um, there, there's a button which is like i know who it is i know who it is or i know somebody who's done you have to find a body if you don't press the button anyway yeah, and uh, I was, among us I got really good game uh, i think it's an independent game as well and they're going for a second uh chapter as well so presumably it's going to be stabbing each other in uh, either other maps or another setting so that's going to be cool they've got a very kind of clay um feel to them k-l-e-a -E -I, uh feel to it all so it's pretty cool so yay good games good games that don't require fucking crystals uh yeah. so yeah yeah <laughs> don't get me started don't get me I've, got, I've got time. I've got time. Uh, we don't have time because we're going to show off something very important. Yes, very important. Let's get this up front. I was going to say, soon you won't have to worry about that because the craft up will be no more. Yes. Ooh. Stay yes. You see. Are you getting, are you, is that this Thursday you're getting paid all of that, Simon, or is it? Oh, yeah. So um, I found out that because I didn't take any holiday throughout COVID and work through the whole damn thing, um, I uh, I had nine and a half days holiday when I finished my, my previous job. So my which previous is job was almost like, well, two we, weeks. Yeah, nearly two weeks worth of, of pay, and which point my company was like, well, we've got to give you that in money. I was like, I like money. <laughs> <laughs> M money's good. M money. Money. How, 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 how much money? I was like, I, I need Felicia. I need Felicia now. Felicia, I'm gonna have money. <laughs> yeah. I want a PC that's not shit. Felicia. <laughs> Felicia is my my IT guru, and, and I do what Hello. she says. Well, I do what she says generally. It's, it's not. <laughs> but uh, you know, so espe especially but when it comes to PCs. So yes, I shall have a better computer, which means I'll start doing producer More. stuff as well as um, uh, I've been doing a lot of background inf uh, information regarding animation and things like that. So I want to start playing with the stream more and giving a bit more. By the way, Simon, so. we have something very important on the screen. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, I can't see the screen, but I know what it is. Uh, so it, it is the latest is and greatest uh, <laughs> picture by Scornfuse as we have uh, Hermit there on the screen, uh, in, you know, in full French made glory yeah. with a little bottle of acid tucked into the binny. Um, and uh, just the look on Scornfuse so pleased with the princess. <laughs> Oh yeah. This is why I play D and D. <laughs> Princess Cabella the Third. Oh god, I, yeah, love it, absolutely love it. I mean, this this short campaign has just gone from strength to strength. <laughs> Fucking love it. It's getting <laughs> and, better. Um, there was a reward that I was doing before that, which we featured uh, last uh, last week. Uh, the uh, what was it? The um, fashionable knife of instability is now oh. gone because uh, Scornfuse's bag items disappear after twenty four hours. Yeah. Uh, um, okay. All, all one session, I guess, whichever is the closest one. Um, and um, so yeah, so a new item will be generated this time. 
Uh, but that'll be when Scornfuse dips into their bag and finds out. So, who knows? Um, it exploded. <laughs> it, it, it exploded. Yeah, just... <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love it. Um, and yeah, looking at some of the things I've put on that that set of tables, I I worry, but also there's some um, possibilities for greatness. So who knows? at the end, I want to know everything. That's all the possibilities in that bag. Uh, yeah, I'll I'll give you the what list. What we narrowly later. avoided. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, well, uh, and yeah, later on, uh, uh, what I'll do is I'll turn the cool down down to five seconds, just let you guys play <laughs> with it and see what comes up. Um, <laughs> the fire in the kitchen was totally unrelated. Yeah. <laughs> it was an explosive, not an incendiary. <laughs> I'm sure it was. Mr. Freight, is the freight <sighs> here today? Oh, Mr. Freight. Sadness. Oh. Right. Let's get into this. You guys um, find yourself on sea. And the way back uh, crests one of the larger waves and cuts through it, sending huge gouts of sea spray, like two ethereal white wings flanking the ship. You're all, even the most recent stags to join the ship, have got their sea legs now. And uh, you can see that they, uh, they're they moving with the ship. You can see legs bowing and straightening with each wave. Black sails are now f uh, fully unfurled, catching the winds and going incredibly fast. Ordinarily, because of the look of your ships, intentionally, if you want to be subtle, you have to either travel at night or go out to the horizon and back in again, or at least stick very, very close to high cliffs and places where you can spot them. Because everybody knows what the black sails mean. You're the only pirate faction, the only nation that unfurls deep, dark sails. People know that when you move, you move to pay the price of vengeance from one place to another. It's dangerous. The best way to see those black sails. The flag fully unfurled. Is it a whale, knowing... Scornfuse? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a wave. <laughs> it's in a wave. <laughs> Is it water? <laughs> <laughs> Let's face it, W's going to take some time. <laughs> Damn it, what is? <laughs> Knowing that you can't hide yourself, you decide to declare yourself um, an unfurled flag. A skeleton hung by a noose, pointing forward the accuser, the sign of the forsaken, and the sign of the gallant. You know that the location that you're going for will be obscured by a huge landmass. You're going to anchor there, and very quickly, because you'll get there by evening. Use cover of darkness to get in, and speak to this small village, maybe a really small town, that's at the foot of what appears to be a result facility. What you've been told is an experimental facility. The Free Folk, Samwise Noakes, and a few of the others that are coming in the opposite direction so that they can now go to other shores, safer shores, the rest of the area, now that they know that the interceptor is gone, have been filling you in with information as you go, stopping, or in some cases, People teleporting to your ship, speaking to you, and then talking to you. You've determined that this town seems to be locked down. It's something that's almost unheard of in Jaspera. The tribes, as part of their national spirit, come and go as they wish. And it's only if they enter somebody else's encampment that they find themselves well. They say that 
mooring there is always something that they pass by. Only if they are in the direst of situations will a member of the Free Folk moor there quickly for a bit of food or maybe some lumber. And even then they'll stay on the ship. They get people coming up and whispering to them, don't get off, whatever you do, don't get off. This pretty much has put this as a giant target for you guys to go and investigate or just outright start infiltrating the result. The sun sets and the ship listing about 20 degrees off upright is making good way. There's a few uh, scouts that you see, but with a few of your uh, talents, you persuade them that it's best that they pretend that they did this. Yes. The anchor drops into the sea, and you hear, uh, feel the vibration as it starts to be pulled along the sea floor. It catches possibly on the lip of a large rock outcropping as the ship lurches to a halt. Sun lighting the sky in a myriad of beautiful colours starts to dim and the sky starts to give all of the deep oranges and reds to purples and blues as the lights completely drain from the sky and the stars start to light. Did Captain you... Horn steps on deck. We've been my master at arms. My spy master. Yes. Captain. Captain. I think there's going to be less of the negotiating when we get in there. It's going to be more a case of getting in, finding out what allies we have. Distinguishing friend from foe before we come in, full force. I'll be bringing in the skags. They'll be having weapons by the side as of now. When you give the signal, we're coming in, cannons blazing. You got it. All right. Got it, Captain. You're the vanguard. Take who you need. Get in there. Speak to the people. The people who do not have to pay the price. Get them to one side and tell them they may have to build the, rebuild their homes afterwards. I have a feeling they'd have no problem with that. Got it. We'll make sure those are all paid. Got it. We'll get in there. Seems to me you are running light. Quartermaster, give them each a grant. She... Oh yeah, loop bomb. <laughs> I remember. <laughs> uh, she stands up and uh, Hukaroon stretches. <clears throat> Looks like you get some of the good stuff. Come with me. Thank you. You step down into the quartermaster's office, uh, which is also the quartermaster's... Um, Right yeah, after legends. I scold Scrumfuse about not licking the random things in a noble's household. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, you can see that uh, over Hukarun's bed, uh, where, the, where the pillow of the pallet is, uh, you do see that the wooden wall there has two kind of scratch marks where Hukarun's horns... Um, in the night, just kind Ooh. of rub against the wood. Um, what you do see, and believe me, I fucking love this when I saw this. I, I saw this on a particular ship. But was, um, the quartermaster has a pair of bolts, dead bolts, that go all the way through the wall and into the uh, the other door. Um, it requires a second lock, but the dead bolts are in are in the quartermaster's room. The quartermaster's room has one of the strongest doors, um, second only to the brig's. <laughs> He goes up, mutters something. 
Here we go. Pulls the two locks back, disarming the spell traps that were on them. And you can hear a big clunk from elsewhere on the ship. You, uh, he pulls you out um, of his office and round to where the main uh, stock room containing the vault is. He opens the lock to the holiest of holes, opens the door, and there is a myriad of statues mm -hmm. and uh, candelabra, uh, uh, artworks, drapes, carpets and rugs in some cases, anything that is high value, um, just strewn about the place. Uh, well, not strewn about the place, they, they're all tied down. Um, and uh, you can see in the middle is two sets of chests. One of them uh, has just burnt onto it gold. And the second one burned onto it items. Right, let's get you here, Grant. Undoes the one that says items, muttering under his breath as it goes. And I as have... he turns the key in the lock, I have banned Scrumfuse to have anything to do with Dave's milk, and I will know if you do anything with Dave's milk. <laughs> <laughs> or Dave in general. Yes. <laughs> yeah, he just banned you from Dave. Or Dave. Yeah. Stay away. Two meter rule. Razor yeah. don't get this shit. Social distancing <laughs> from Dave. Yeah. Um, flips open. <clears throat> and goes, let's see. Throws his hand inside, and, and this is coming off the full loop one item, so... I'm quite excited. I am yeah. too. Yes! It's all random on a random table, so we... Uh, it's random on a random table, so... Um, first of all, for Alphonse, uh, he pulls out a shield. <laughs> a shield? Oh, oh, yay. It's a kite shield. And he goes, okay. huh, I remember this one. <laughs> I remember cutting the throat of the guy who heard it. Here you go. Oh, uh, careful you don't, like, hit it or anything. It hits back. Ooh. <laughs> Throws you a shield. Um, and as you uh, catch it, um, it does, it feels fairly light. Um, and, I don't think sorcerers uh, can use shields. I don't know if I can use it. But, uh... <laughs> um, and uh, I think uh, if you don't have proficiency... Um, I think it means that all your melee attacks have disadvantage. I don't. I think it's worse than that because otherwise every sorcerer would pick up a shield. Okay, can so any of you guys use a shield? Uh, no. Uh, Felicia <laughs> can. Felicia <laughs> can. I, uh, Felicia can. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I can't um, use the shield. And he goes, "You're barely old in that, correct? <laughs> Anyone know how to use this?" Uh, Felicia, will you accept the shield? Yeah. I'll take it. <laughs> Here you go. Because, uh... So you yeah, better eat it. <laughs> this, one, this one's an interesting one. Um, if, if someone hits it, it bites back. So, uh, the way this works, this is one of my tailored items for the loop one. No, I should be licking anyone thing. unless... So, this is a plus... Uh, instead of getting the usual plus two for a shield, you get plus three. So it's plus one shield. Um, also, it has an evocation effect, right? So, what's your current AC? Uh, my current AC is 18. Okay. So, <laughs> if anyone hits you on a 19, 20, or 21, and you need to write this down, because you have to be the one to trigger it. Wait, wait, uh, wait, 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 I'm writing shield uh, plus one. Yep. Okay, and then? Okay. So this has the effect that if someone hits the shield, now the shield has brought, uh, given you AC 19, 20, and 21. So write down those three numbers. Yeah. 19, 20, 21. Yeah. If I say any of those numbers to hit, you say boom. Because when they hit the shield, it reflects any damage they do to the shield back at them as force damage. Ha! Huh. Simon, uh, yeah. just because I do have an ability that affects AC, what um, being, uh, what was that? Uh, hey, haste. Haste. Oh, haste yeah. So if I, because I can apply that to Felicia, how does that affect those numbers? 
Uh, basically, uh, what we can what we can say is that the uh, that those two will float on top of her shield. So it'll always be nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Okay. As long as it's just three numbers that miss. But wait, then if it's this fine. shield is plus one. My base is 18, so when I'm wearing the shield, do I go up to a 21 then? You go up to AC 21. Yeah. Which, for a fucking druid, is great. <laughs> I mean, did you have a shield already, Felicia? Or no? Might have. Um, oh, if you already had one, then it'll be, uh, it'll probably be, 19. if you're 18 before, it'll be 17, no. 18, and 19. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Let's see, what did I start with? I started with breastplate and trident and my net. Crossbow, Explorer's Pack, Druid Focus. Doesn't sound like she did. Doesn't sound like it. What's your dex? <laughs> that this will answer it. Uh, fourteen. So probably applied one. Automatically. Yep. Now you don't have a shield. Your your AC is twenty-one. Jesus yes. <laughs> but if you're using your trident, your shield doesn't apply. Yeah. So you can either well, have shield or trident. trident. Yeah. So yeah. Can I use my crossbow? Uh, yes, I think. Yes. Yeah, unless yeah. so, you need to let's check if it says two-handed, one-handed, essentially. Yeah, if it's yeah. a two-handed, you can't. Basically. I don't know. What but your net, you can. Your net, you can. Your net, you can. Or uh, you can just crossbow is two-handed. Fuck. Yeah. yeah. I need a new weapon yeah. in other words. Well, don't you have an attack cantrip? Yeah, you have a yes, cantrip. Yes, I do. Yeah, so you yeah. can just have shield you can and just cantrip. Just use that. <laughs> you you could just pull. The, you could just use the shield and the. Yeah, um, I suppose. Hmm. So uh, that's yours. Um, in that case... So then, uh, yeah, AC 21, Felicia, you are now the tank. <laughs> uh, AC 21 for a level 6. It's druid. <laughs> and hasting yeah. that as well, give you an extra plus 2. Is, oh, spicy. I can turn into a bear. Oh, bear is just... <laughs> the, the AC HP doesn't... goes low, I can turn into a bear. Yeah, oh, but right. your AC goes down to your bear AC, which is and like And if you 10. have spells that do poison them. Uh, no. Okay. No. Uh, do any of you have spells of that do cold? Air? I do. Yeah. Okay. Uh, in that case, um, he uh, pulls it out and goes, "Are you with one of these?" And he holds out a warhammer. Uh, <laughs> I cannot use it. <laughs> you can't use warhammers. No. All right. <laughs> Throws it in. <laughs> <laughs> um, pulls out a dagger instead and goes, Now, what I know one of you guys uses these. Yes, I can use that. Yes, <laughs> dagger. Yes. He goes, uh, any, uh, <coughs> Anyone use either fire or uh, or radiant damage? Yep, <laughs> <laughs> looking at the cleric. Finally, we have a winner. Cleric, but... He hands it to you and says, Oh, uh, that, that's uh, that's a crux if you've never seen one of those before. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's a crux. It can turn uh, fire damage into radiant damage and vice versa. Ooh. So if you throw a fireball, Any? you can turn it into a divine fireball. Ooh. Ooh. Divine fireball. Ooh. You might have to pick up fireballs in Jordan now so you can make a divine fireball. <laughs> With that, that all actually makes sense. Yes. So, yes. <laughs> I, get a, I get a cool dagger. I like this. <laughs> now we just need to find a mass rank of enemies. <laughs> yeah. Well, we well, don't have yet. fireball yet. Not yet. I yeah. need to level to, to change that. But um, let's see what else we have here. Um, Ooh, oh, he goes. Cold. Here we go. This will work. And hands you, Dalgal, a um, a kind of Conan the Barbarian style <laughs> yeah. steel bit headband. Yeah. Uh, awesome. goes, there you go, mate. Yeah. Is... Oh yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, so, sorry, I uh, forgot about that. Uh, whenever you uh, that 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 one there was, uh, he, he was a nice lad actually. Uh, that didn't come from a uh, one of uh, one of those that we killed. It actually came from one of our own. Uh, yeah. So uh, uh, whenever you uh, you hit really really hard with it, they stop bleeding to death. Oh, yeah. yeah. Nice. Uh, whenever you crit, the damage that they receive from the crit. They get again on their following turn. Oh my god! Oh wow! <gasps> Why is it that called? Is it is it an official great. item, Simon? <laughs> uh, this is my new loot, uh, loot bomb algorithm. Uh, two two words that should not go together: uh, slashing wrath 
came together. And I was like, ooh, that's, that's bad. <laughs> that sounds great. I'm all for this. Mm -hmm. I, um, I look into the back of the shield. The Scorpius, that is There's... perfect. I approve of that name change. Holy fireball to spirit bomb. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. Uh, right, last one is you, Shirin. Uh, he put, put, pulls out a chain whip. Nah, it doesn't seem your thing. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Yeah, we got that. Uh, ooh. This could work. And he's holding a chalice. Oh. What's yeah. that? Um, well, basically, whenever um, a friend of yours deals physical damage to uh, to someone you can use so this to <laughs> would be probably um, <laughs> you can drink of this and apply exactly the same damage to the next attack that you do whether magical or otherwise I'll take Ooh. it <laughs> I'll take it <laughs> I'm afraid it only works once a day oh okay Aww. but still it's good Oh. Basically, if Dalgal crits, you go, I'll have some of that. Cheers. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> if you're attacking the same yeah. person, then on your turn, they get the crit damage. They get again. your damage and they get whatever yeah. Dalgal's damage was. So Love it's it. once, is it once per rest or once per long rest? Oh, once per long rest. Yeah. Whenever I say day, it means long rest. Mm -hmm. No? Not, not floating your boat? Uh, uh, no, I, well, your... I mean, I could take it, yeah, if, rather than being picky yeah, about I mean, it. The only other thing I got is, uh, and he pulls out uh, what's quite clearly paladin braces. He goes, "Nah, you're not really the physical type, are you?" No, I'll, uh, I'll take the chalice. Like, uh, sure, okay, there we go. Uh, oh, hang on, I've got another cup as well. Puts his ha hand in there, goes, "There's always this one." Um, basically, um, and I'll explain it in mechanical terms. Um, first time you ever get reduced to zero hit points um, with this uh, the cup and you explode in a uh, a small fiery mess um, and you reappear at the beginning of the next turn but it works once okay it works once I'll take the chalice that actually works many times because I do have my own resist death ability so. <laughs> <laughs> right you know okay, okay. Uh, no problem pulls out uh, the chalice and gives it to you and says, "Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, all you have to, uh, that works as a as a focus, by the way. So you can use that. Um, just looks like you're walking around with a rather swanky goblet, which is nice. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, and uh, all you have to do is watch one of your friends clobber someone. It can be anybody. It could, well, it could be one of the skags, as far as I'm um, And uh, it will uh, it will fill the old cup, and you just drink it, and it will charge your next spell with it. Is uh, it a reaction to drink it, Simon? Uh, no, you just declare. Okay. You just declare. You, you say, I'll have some of that. <laughs> and then you just go, I drink the cup. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Cool. I'll drink okay. to that. I wonder what it tastes like. Victory. Victory. <laughs> yeah. Oh, damn it, she beat me. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, what is. All right. That should. Uh, Thank you. Thank you, Jason. sort you yeah. out. Yeah. Nice job. Nice job. Anyway, you better get off to the skiff. It's getting dark. I want to have at least a little bit of the Nimsy uh, light to get you to the beach. Good luck. How many people can our skiff fit? Um, I will allow you three skags. Okay. Well, there's. Who do we have in chat? Type now or be left behind. I think Who it's Aura, Hermit, and Scornfuse, I think. Chopper78. Oh, Chopper78. Is that you? That's me. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I said type. I'm coming. Yep. <laughs> I come. I come. <laughs> Please. No. <laughs> no. Ooh, Wait, or a party. Sounds like we've got a crew. There we go. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, yep. Yeah, uh, that's free skags. Yep. Yeah. You're all, all crewed up. So, uh, Prime, Scum, Fuse, and Hermit uh, jump in. Why do we uh, keep taking the cobbles with us? 
It <laughs> looks it's adorable. Because you need the couple. Yes. Everybody needs and the couple. And besides, would you rather him be alone on the ship without proper <laughs> No, <laughs> I don't want him anywhere near without supervision. <laughs> in plain sight all the time. I'll wait for Dave. Yeah. Uh, now, the most essential question is, Hermit, are you still wearing the maid's costume? <laughs> See, I've sorted you out, you're fucking players, you know, but now we get to the, the important part of the campaign. Yeah. Are you still wearing the maid costume? If, if Hermit is still in the maid's costume, I'm going to insist <laughs> the boot that the shoes get changed, the shoes with the heel small heel get changed mm -hmm. to the boots. There's going to be some <laughs> I don't want to hurt his ankles. Yep. You know, there's got to be boots. <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah. Nice. You know what? It might be a really good surprise, really good disguise. Yes, <laughs> it is. You know, let's face it, you know, they're, they're kind of going, pirates, pirates, and all this, this maid comes maid. in and goes, save me, save me. <laughs> Yank. <laughs> oh, I love it. So, uh, with your acid-wielding alchemist, uh, your necrotic pistol-wielding uh, swashbuckler, and your... Innocent little cobbled with a nice <laughs> little bag. Um, you innocent. set off in the skiff uh, for uh, another adventure. You hit the sand very easily, pull the, uh, uh, the skiff in and take the sail down, um, stowing it behind some rocks. Thankfully, it's nice and flat. Unless someone's looking for it, they won't find it. Thankfully, because that also has black sails. You start. Uh, with a force march across uh, this small land promontory and the second you get up uh, just a couple of minutes later on top of this small spit of rock uh, you can see uh, the uh, small star-like uh, panorama of lanterns lit in a coastal town. Not uh, uh, very often the most uh, welcome sight for any sailor to see. You start yomping in that direction and um, messages start being sent to you by the crew, mostly through uh, the captain. And uh, she says, don't, don't forget y'all now. You need to get in there and find some people who you can vouch for as innocent and somebody who's not going to be uh, oh, waylaid by their fears. You need to be able to trust them. You get in there, find out what's going to happen, get them out. Do. So, you um, find yourselves very quickly on the outskirts of this this town. You can see there are um, posted <laughs> at the major roads heading in, and on the docks itself, guards guards who seem to be wearing Rosali colours, but Once they seem to be for the close. most part. To like actually like where we're supposed to land, I pick Scornfuse out of their little like bowl boat and put them back in <laughs> the <laughs> boat. <laughs> it's like yes, you're a very good captain. Now we need to be here. <laughs> the um, uh, you can see that the uh, the dockside and the main road going into the town have these uh, these men in Rosali colours or these henched up people in uh, Rosali colours, with large cudgels, um, which seem to have a kind of orb motif at the end. Um, there's a travelling person who walks up to the town, um, and you can see this from a distance. They had a lantern coming down the road, and you take the moment to just see what's going on. The uh, men at the, uh, the entrance to the town stop them and there's this conversation that starts off jovial but then gets a little bit heated and as they turn him away Welcome and this traveller uh, starts to step backward Carrying, thank you so much for guards... follow Oh, thank you Carrying. Thank you. Um, turns away you can see that one of the guards swiftly coshes him on the back of the neck um, and they throw him uh, into the kind of dark gully by the side of the road. The guards start looking back and forth, um, and one of them pulls out a small scroll. Starts, and the scroll 
disappears. Um, the guards start bundling this unconscious figure into a large sack that you think is one of these large kind of potato sacks or something like that. They bundle this person in unceremoniously and the um, a coach comes from the top of the kind of small hill that this town is on the base of. Um, and with purple lanterns blazing, charges all the way down through the town to the entrance of the town. When the, uh, the coach stops and then turns around, comes back up, the bag is nowhere to be seen. You can tell that not many people would want to walk through the dark fields that are next to the, the town. You, thankfully, are badasses. You're well above level one. <laughs> uh, you have had to fight a few things on the way here that, if you were less powerful, would be worthy of note. You've taken down some giant rats and rabid whatever it was. It was some sort of jackal, maybe. It's dangerous. It's dangerous area. Probably why the uh, the dark part of the um, town, which makes it easy for you to get into, hasn't been used as a form of exit. People want to stay on the road. Hmm. Remember, this is Jasper. It's barren. For most animals out there, it's kill or stun. So even in your numbers, you've been attacked. So, you head towards this town, not even knowing its name. For the most part, you normally get told what the ports are called. And as you get closer, <laughs> so, you can see that this... <laughs> Scorpius is in a barrel with like a <laughs> hole through, like a cork hole, <laughs> and it's being stealthy. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'll allow it. Um, <laughs> Scumfuse, get roll me exclamation mark d20, please. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, this isn't the stealth check. This is more of a strength check. A barrel is a heavy thing for a cobble to... Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, okay. 19. <laughs> like a fucking hench, you are carrying this barrel. No problem at all. We've been so, doing... I've been doing some exercises. Uh, you know, getting everyone buff. How does he get away with this? <laughs> Every time. I think Scorn said only good rolls so far. <laughs> hey, well, what can I say? Nightbot loves him. Um, so, as the uh, as the party no goes worries, along Kerry. with their with their little animated barrel. Yeah. <laughs> no, there was. The, the uh, smells like rum, I bet. Uh, Ooh, hello, hello minion. minion. Um, you, can, uh, you can see um, as uh, you get close enough to the town that there seems to be some sort of curfew. Also, the look of the town is very utilitarian. Uh, the towns normally have like an organic spread. This is almost like a the medieval version of a industrial estate. Hmm. All of the homes are exactly the same build, not a single decoration or embellishment. Um, all of the uh, lanterns that are lighting the streets and every street is lit. Uh, light ends at the end of the town, but every street is lit. Hmm. And you can see that they're all at regular intervals. Almost as if people were told, very strictly, maybe under punishment, that they must do it a particular way. They look new. Uh, I'm sorry about that, Hermit. I don't think it's, it's our like end, like a, because, you know, yeah, we're not dropping any frames at the moment. We're all grown up at the same time. No, um, it it looks like it was all put up at the same time. It yeah. looks fairly recent, I guess. Yeah. In Port Farouk, uh, all the buildings were, uh, you know, the, the buildings at the, at the, in the middle were kind of like the, probably when everything was first built and first built by uh, Lord Farouk, or oh, Lord Farouk's ancestors. Um, mm -hmm. Mostly stone buildings, a uh, very kind of old but reliable structure. Um, then you see some newer, more fashionable buildings as certain traders and things came in. Um, and then towards the uh, the end, you've got kind of recently built but not expected to last very long type of buildings. 
Right. Here, they're all kind of like sturdy barns, okay. but clearly homes. Yeah. Um, and yeah, so you can see that one of the things about it as well is that if this was a home, you'd be kind of wanting your money back because the 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 windows there's like tiny poxy windows in there. Uh, ordinarily, you'd want to have bigger windows to you know to let some light in. Um, you can see that there's uh, not a huge amount of uh, chimney smoke coming out of the chimneys as well. Very thin, wispy. Uh, you have a feeling that most people by now, and bear in mind, the sun has only just set. In some countries, the sun setting means that you're walking home right now. Um, yeah. After a very long day's work. It looks like everybody's kind of... Maybe everybody works in this town, because it seems like it's a place where they would work them that hard. Um, but yeah, there seems to be that there's only the thinnest wisp of smoke coming from each of the houses. How... You don't need any stealth rolls as you get up to the outskirts of the town. Mainly because Scornfuse now... is so stealthy and is. Oh yeah, good. yeah. I mean, with 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 Scornfuse picking up the slack, I mean, really, you know. Um, with that leader. The um, you get up to around about twenty foot away from the uh, the first building, without an issue. At which point I hand over to you. What would you like to do? Um, can we hear anything? Are there any noises of... Uh, Alright, yeah. Can we hear anything? Are there any noises of industry, of, of laughter, of music, of anything like that? Why would no, barrels that, appear in nature, Scorpius? Like... <laughs> mimics. <laughs> <laughs> really bad mimics. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, uh, but uh, something like a barrel would be the type of thing that would roll off a cart or something like that. So, technically, finding a barrel by the side of the road is not unheard of. Um, it certainly wouldn't uh, ring alarm bells, which, considering the little bugger inside, it should do. <laughs> <laughs> but fucking nineteen, what can I say? You know, <laughs> fucking blocking it. Um, the um, uh, yeah. So, you, yes, that's the thing that really hits you, down. Now that now that you've asked, I'm not again. I'm not going to get you to roll because in this case, it's it's. It's your actions that make mm -hmm. you go, shit, I'm noticing that. Um, there's no workers, even in some of the most impoverished places, will find a way of making some moonshine um, and singing the night away. It's a way of them relieving stress, to show mm -hmm. unity, to pick up spirits, unless there's some sort of martial law where they'll yeah. kill anyone who sings, which you have a feeling that even these guys aren't that fucking bad. It just doesn't, there's nothing. Nothing. There's just no, no sounds. There's no song. There's, um, there's no industry. Mm -hmm. um, the closest that you can get, I guess, is that on the opposite side of the town to you, raised up um, on a hill, as most good castles are, overlooking the town. That building is something. It looks mostly like a castle. Mm -hmm. But it looks very weird. It's very geometric and very bland. And one of the things that hits you, there's no crenellations. Um, it's like a fort. Yeah, it, it's like a big stone block. Um, but yeah, there's there's nothing in the um, there's nothing in the town. There's no sound, for example, of um, blacksmiths um, uh, shoeing the horses for the next day. There's yeah. no sound of uh, bakers firing up the ovens because they work overnight, uh, mm. or anything along those lines. It's just, yeah, very, very quiet. You we haven't given you any orders yet, uh, Hobbit. <laughs> and so that, that was going to be my second question: was Are there any signs of animals, horses, and <laughs> stables? Like <laughs> yep. Like that. Yep. Yep. Um, you can see that uh, they're too far away to hear, but you can see uh, a quite clear central stable um, that's a little confusing in and of itself uh, a town this size would normally have several uh, mm -hmm. stables and there would normally be kind of like coaching inns and things like that yeah. as well it seems to be that all the horses in the town are kept in one central area yeah. is that guarded um, I will say that you take a little walk around to yeah. uh, be able to see it from a vantage point and yes you can see it seems to be more guarded than the two guards yeah. Uh, who are guarding the uh, the road leading into the town? Okay. It looks like they're more concerned with keeping people in than keeping mm -hmm. others out. 
And at that point, you do notice down a side street, a guard with a friend, a pair of these nasty looking cudgels walking past. Past us? Mm. Uh, just just nearby. Mm. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Uh, nowhere, nowhere near being able. And they're not looking at you, they're looking at the houses. They have no interest in the the outside of the town. Mm. I want to look in through one of the narrow windows into one of the houses. I'll wait until, if anyone wants to do anything with the guards as they pass, do that. But once they pass, then I want to find a window to look through. Uh, anyone I doing mean, anything with the guards? That's my, it's it's very good like to get information connect. out of the way as soon as possible. Hmm. Oh, should I use a detect thoughts on them? Uh, I think we should just try and get them. Grab them. Grab them, yeah. Uh, you said there were two of them, right? Yep, there's two. Well, we can... I should be able to grapple one. We can just grab them. We don't have to detect their faults just yet. Yeah, yeah I have a uh, whole person prepared. Oh, yeah. Grapple and whole person should be. Yeah. Uh, I'm not going to... I'm not going to rage, but I should be strong enough. Do they look particularly butch? Um, they they are. Like, probably, I mean, they're guards. Yeah, they're probably as strong as the uh, the burliest of workers that you've met. Not okay. like the bare fist fighters uh, yeah. that you uh, that you used to hang around with. Yeah. Um, but you know, they they are fairly strong. Uh, okay. I would guess. Um, I mean, uh, they rely mostly on fear and numbers. It at third level and target both of them with whole person. If you want, but if you want, or you can just save it and use one spell slot and one low level. It's also not going to stop them from crying out and yeah. alerting the So, so you can you grapple uh, as a chokehold if you choose. Okay. So uh, chokehold for the most part will, uh, when you first get them, uh, mm -hmm. you will, uh, you will do that, and all it does is just Ooh, increases the difference. Hermit just said a very good thing. Okay. We do have sleep bombs. That is true. Mm. Do, but I mean, if we want to grab information from them, putting them to sleep isn't super helpful. Well, right if now. we put them to sleep, we can then tie them up and then just wake them up. And also, getting if if we if we grapple them or hold them, and you then read surface thoughts, I can tell you what those surface thoughts would be. Yeah. Be, ah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Why yeah. Them? So now is probably a good time to Ooh. read those uh, surface thoughts. Yeah. If you're gonna do go. that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that might as well do it now. It's just a second level. Yeah. Chokehold is plus one diff. That's all it is. Okay. Adds one to their AC, and you can just go up and. And yeah. if you do I that, think... they are basically gasping for breath. They can't cry out. Okay, that's yeah. good to know. That I may was... very well happen very soon. I will yes. start with a detect thought on them. Okay, sure. Uh, surface thoughts to start. Yeah. Uh, the surface thoughts are um, for both of them saying uh, what the fuck is going on up the hill. Uh, the mages are really antsy about it all. Um, can't believe they, uh, they're going to uh, uh, do a big take tonight. Big mm. take? Oh. Um, anything specific when they're scanning the town? Anyone specific they're looking out for that they think it might um, make a run for it one of them is uh one of them is thinking that he might try and get reassigned um <laughs> but he hasn't heard from the last guy who got reassigned and is a little worried that reassigned means that they go where the others go mm. interesting want to delve deeper They'll know, though, right, if you do that? They'll know that someone's delving deeper, but they don't know where we are currently. And you can't pinpoint the location of someone, you just know someone's trying to get into your mind. Which is a, probably enough to sound an alarm. Oh, yeah. So, well, it lasts for a minute, so if we go now and sleep them, and I can then probe. <laughs> True. Or probe. And then just as probe is finishing, I'm not going well, I was gonna say I have four. Uh, we have four sleep bombs. We have one yeah. each. Who mm -hmm. wants to bomb. throw a bomb what at was, them? What was the other thing? It's ingestible thing, right? Yeah. Can we can we try and force them to ingest it? 
Oh no! <laughs> oh! Oh! A gelatinous oh. ring of wall transparency! What does that mean? <laughs> That's amazing! That's so What's amazing. that? So, Scumfuse reaches what into their mean? bag, pulls out a little gummy ring like you find in Harry Bow, <laughs> and goes. Oh. <laughs> puts it onto uh, his finger. You can see through walls, dude. <laughs> He can see up to uh, 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 through up to five foot of material. So he can now see out through his barrel. <laughs> no, I yeah. don't think yeah. that's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cock point. That, that I mean, so perfect. That's incredible. Programming that function was a joy. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Can, can he see through the barrel and through... Barrel's about, the barrel's about an inch of material. He can see yeah. to another four foot something of material. Um. The answer is yes. <laughs> you guys don't know this. This no. is what happened inside we the barrel. Know, but it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it's, just, it's just there going around going, oh, I can see things. All right. <laughs> can he see that um, there's supposed to be material? Yeah, the material looks ghostly. Can he see? Oh, can he see through our clothes? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no. We don't know that he can. You, ha you have no idea. Uh, yes, they, I just asked that video and asked the question is yes. Yep. Yes. Yep. <laughs> yeah. the material only seems solid after five foot, so it, it becomes uh, cumulative that after uh, once five foot material has been seen through, it looks solid again. Other than that, it's ghostly. Oh well, okay. Thankfully... Anyways, let's throw a bomb back down. What do I need what to do? What did everyone do? Like <laughs> Just said it. Which, <laughs> <laughs> considering you guys have no idea what he's just done, you're just like, yeah, yes, yeah, confused. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good, Scorm. Yes. Sounds good. Uh, anyway. Uh, Sharon, do you, do you, do you want to read, do you want to probe deep into thoughts and then when it's about to finish, we can throw a smoke, uh, sleep bomb? I mean, it's an action, so essentially I go first, you guys sleep bomb. Yeah. Go. Okay. I don't mind throwing Yeah. Who we wants just to throw one? it? Are we just throwing yeah, one? Yeah, I think one, because it's a five foot radius. Are they close to each other? Then they should. That uh, yeah, should they are side by side, so them. one should be it. Y'all look so Heck. squishy and cold. <laughs> what was the action of. Uh, uh, we're not called Scrumpheus, it's fine. And I will probe beat deeper. <laughs> we'll do this instead of just. I'm uh, it's on. a con save DC 15. For yeah. Them. Yeah. yeah. But now, yes. the one thing they have got is con, so. But well, f my, the first so save they need to do, though, is mine. Oh, which, yes. Uh, uh, wisdom save, and that they have not got a great amount of. Uh, I'll, I'll it will prepare. be only one of them, so I will do number B. <laughs> Number B. Okay. <laughs> sure. Number B rolled a seven. Pass. Yes, yeah, so fail. Not pass, sorry, fail. Cool. Uh, as in you pass. Yep. Go for it. Uh, yes, I dive deeper and I give, again, insight into okay. its reasoning, uh, emotional state, something blood is in mind. God damn you. Uh, okay, so, uh, yeah, the um, you peer into the one that is thinking about running away. Yeah. Um, he didn't sign up for this shit. Um, he came to Jasper to join one of the tribes. Uh, he's originally from Bardencourt. And um, he just okay. thought, yeah, it, it, it's a rough place where tough people uh, rise to the top instead of, uh, you know, being some sort of fucking uppity lord. Um, you know, going to build myself up, you know, just on my muscles and my grit alone. Then got in with the Rosali and ended up exactly the same position that he was in in Bardencourt. So he wants to fuck off now. Mm. So... Uh, yeah, he wants to leave. Um, and he's worried that if he does do that, he'll be added to the take. Uh, the take, uh, you now know, is uh, abduction. Yeah. They abduct people and take them into the big building. Yep. Mm. yep. He's not allowed in the big building. There's out, there's outbuildings for the mercenaries, for the guards. 
uh, there, there's everything that a mercenary could want. They get given great wages, uh, they eat like kings, they drink until they're sick, there's whores, it's amazing. Um, and that's the that's been enough to sate him so far. But now, yeah, he's not so sure. Um, it's just, it's getting too weird even for him. Um, but he's not sure that even his partner knows uh, or would agree with it. So he hasn't broached the subject. He wants to get on the next fucking ship or whatever to get as far away from here as possible in such a way that the Rosali aren't going to um, uh, aren't going to fuck with him. I rolled a natural 20, which me and that was basically, okay, how lucky is she? Um, and uh, so he goes, the thing that freaks me out the most is the ship. But seeing as it's late, that may be what the Rosali are freaking out. Ooh, have they seen our ship? Is that it? <laughs> I guess no. they may be interceptor. No. He says the ship is late. Ship is late. Ooh, they haven't got the the ship that we killed. Mm -hmm. exactly. They don't know about it yet. Ooh. Yeah. Because we did make a big fuss about it, really. Uh, do we get told? Does Sharon tell us? About this guy that doesn't want to be, doesn't actually want to be here. Well, it's it. it this Where's is all happening timing? in few instants. So you're yeah, it's, it's happening in an instant. But yeah. uh, as that those thoughts occur, he suddenly goes. He suddenly stops panicking. Goes. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. He oh. uh, and the guy goes. Fuck. Goes, didn't mean it. Didn't mean it. I was just scared. <laughs> I, I, I'll I'll stay. I'll stay. I was like. <laughs> He thinks it's he thinks it's just someone else that is doing it, not like a random. Oh, oh. I, I was I was I was weak, mate, and and they they know. Oh, oh. fuck! I told you, oh. just stick to the fucking drink. Oh. Throw the bomb! Throw the bomb! Throw the bomb! I'm throw holding my bomb. I'm looking for a nod. Wait, yeah, I nod. I nod. Right. <laughs> uh, roll me uh, sixty-six then. Ooh. 60. Oh, yeah. Isn't it a uh, con save, Simon? On it this was one. a con save. Yeah, oh, con sorry, save yeah. oh, sorry, they are con, uh, yeah, sorry. con, con saves. Uh, that, that's the sleep spell, sorry. Yeah, the con saves. Really yeah. uh, right, so uh, <laughs> let's... Also, uh, Scorm said that he looks into the nearest few, uh, mm -hmm. building in chat a little bit ago. 18. Oh, uh, yep, I will give you that in a sec. Um, so the oh, guy who's... Oh. Uh, it's sorry. okay, I've got to roll for the other guy. Uh, mm. The the first guy, the guy who's panicking, his adrenaline as he breathes the stuff in. You throw something and they go, what the hell? And there's just this. Pfft. The guy who's panicking goes, what? And his adrenaline is just boosting his uh, his con at the moment, um, so he doesn't end up getting it. Um, Ooh, the yes. other guy just goes. <laughs> he goes. Go what? grab him. Yeah. No, uh, I will. Uh, I think this guy we can get because he's thinking of running away and he's not agreeing with this. So um, I'm not I'll... with him. I'm not with him. I know. I'm not with him. I know. I know. I'm not talking to you. Well, you don't need picks to. Up, picks up the uh, the cudgel um, and uh, we're gonna have to roll this. To... Well, uh, so uh, I would say I, you don't need to. I already know. I'm not with them. Uh, he's too panicking. Mm -hmm. um, okay. yeah. uh, Hermit's asking if You absolutely can, Hermit. Uh, exclamation. Oh, actually, no, you, you just throw it, so uh, that's fine. Um, Everyone throw their feet on. <laughs> nah. oh, yeah. oh, Second go. dose, and he goes, <laughs> I'm not Super with him. Works. I'm not with him, Masters. I'm not. <laughs> 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 yes. That's nice unfortunate. Work, Let's go and grab them off of the street. Yes. Yep, yeah. they're, they're in a side Drugs street, so you can just quickly kind of grab them and. Yeah. Do you know how um, long it lasts? It's about an hour, isn't it? It's yeah, they're, they're asleep for an hour unless you uh, uh, unless damage you them in any way or shake them awake. Uh, um, as in, deliberately shake them until they wake. So, Scorn Fuse, you are looking into a building. You can see that inside um, one of the buildings is um, two small families. Um, you can see that there seems to be 
uh, that there's a well, let's take it straight off the generator there is a uh, a gnome family and a drow family weird drow. You never would have thought never would have thought about those uh, those two combinations um, drow the, here. <laughs> the drow family uh, are just um, uh, what seems to be um, uh, two wives with their son um, and uh, they are um, kind of scribbling on a piece of paper and he's pointing along with his finger kind of learning like the old drow language maybe mm -hmm. um, the, uh, the gnomes however seem to be the majority in the household um, and uh, you can see there is a mother and father um, what looks to be by familial content the uh, wife's brother um, then there's uh, two other um, slightly younger but kind of late teens gnomes who don't have any kind of familial uh, appearance but they do seem to be uh, they seem to be gathering as if they are a family and then there are four wee bairns um, who are sat on the floor um, looking up um, wide-eyed in awe as uh, the uh, the husband and kind of like joint head of the family, you know, that gnomes tend to have, uh, rather than a head male or head female, tends to be a head couple. Mm -hmm. um, and then they have the elders as well uh, that make up kind of like a collective top. Um, and uh, this kind of alpha couple, uh, oh, I hate to use them like alpha, uh, but yeah, this, this leading couple, uh, the uh, the husband currently is telling this tale and he's gesturing and all the rest of it. And you can see the kids are just the smiles on their faces as he's telling clearly some sort of a rapturing tale. But he's uh, as one of the kids laughs, he goes, Ooh. keeping mm -hmm. the children quiet. And it's quickly that he's whispering the story to them, or at least talking in very hushed tones. Well, they, the only one who can see this is Scorpius. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, you can see that inside, um, and you look at the next building, next building, uh, just a lot of humans, uh, doesn't seem to be any familial appearance between them all, as far as you can tell with humans, they all look the same. Um, the, uh, but yeah, the humans are just there. Most of them are lying down, a couple of them are crying in their beds. Um, some of them seem to be wounded, um, and some of them playing cards. Just a lot of humans in a building, Scorpion. Um, yeah, they seem to be in there and all staying very, very quiet. Um, you can see any source of light is, uh, very low. In the Drow and Gnome household, there's no lights at all. They seem to be getting by on their dark vision. In the human uh, one, the guys who are playing cards have got a single candle um, uh, that seems to be made out of cooking fat. The one guy that we've got asleep that wanted out, can we give him the noose? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. We can. Wow, I'm really impressed. You remembered, you remembered <laughs> uh, Galliman Law. Mm -hmm. um, you put the noose around his neck. I, mm -hmm. I listened to Scrumpius Simon has about... to roll for a random guard. What is this guy's <laughs> life like? <laughs> has he done something that is beyond retribution? Probably not. <laughs> We're gonna find uh, out. He's been a few. He's been places that yeah. we know of. So Why has he left what in the blue cops? hell are you talking about, Scrum? <laughs> Uh, I, uh, if yeah, he wants they... to leave, um, incentive. You put the you put the noose around his neck. Yep. The noose tightens very slightly under his chin, at which point he goes. <laughs> <laughs> and you hear, um, uh, presumably Alphonse mm -hmm. uh, tone, uh, Galliman, Galliman, show him the way. Yep. Tell this young man the debt he must pay. And he goes, <laughs> looks down at the noose and goes, fine, fucking fine. Just get me off this fucking rock. <laughs> Glad to. 
come with us and today. you can live. And not be with the uh, mutant guys. Absolutely. <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> Uh, at which point I gotta hit the random name generator. So. <laughs> <laughs> this guy human, right? Logan. Logan yeah. Willis. Yeah. Logan? Human. Yeah, Hello, Logan, Logan Willis. Welcome uh, you to the game. Game of Skag and NPCs. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and Logan so Willis. <laughs> Good okay. Wait, 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 wait. Scorm, what did you just say? Why do you? Oh, you can Are see you... rebuildings. Uh, Scorm, you know that the ring only works for you. Oh. oh. <laughs> so one of us puts on the ring and it just does nothing. Yeah. It's just oh, this weird thing gelatinous ring. It's a bit <laughs> it didn't fit. Yeah, I like. I, I put it, give it back to him. I'm, like, I'm, I'm sure it only works for you. <laughs> yep. You we put on the jelly ring, Scorm, and. <laughs> So you can see. Oh, that's why he meant by us being naked. He can see through. Oh. Do we do we know he's telling the truth about that, or has he just found a weird? It ring? is Scorm Fuse. I very much doubt he can lie. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, and that's well, at least die it's one day. <laughs> at least it's Scorm Fuse. I mean, to be fair, we are pirates, and modesty is not a thing anyway. Okay. So. <laughs> Speak our minds. <laughs> I was going to get some water in two seconds. What do your cobalt eyes see, Scorn? <laughs> yes, it's like that. <laughs> Lots of things waving around. <laughs> oh, I, I am imagining Actually, lots of things the squished up against from, other things, actually. Uh, Lion <laughs> King, but with uh, Alphonse holding yes. Scorn Hughes. <laughs> Okay. Uh, Poor Alphonse can't see anything. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. You you've been you've been. Uh, you've I'm been pretty brought sure. Around like an uh, like an old. Um... Since couples have sunlight sensitivity, I assume they have better dark the dark vision. I'm not uh, sure. Yeah, the... yeah, couples have night vision. Yeah. No, I I don't know because I know Drow have enhanced night vision. I also do have that because I'm a shadow. Uh, thing, uh, but <laughs> I'm not sure if uh, cobbles have that. <laughs> Is that an admission, Hermit? Oh, Hermit. Okay. Uh, so yeah, you can hold up this little barrel, <laughs> and you can see through things. <laughs> Sixty uh, foot. Okay, it's no, not one hundred and twenty. Okay. Yeah, the shadow sorcerer is what I meant by shadow thing. Words yeah. are shadow hard. Thing. I'm a shadow thing. Words uh, are no, hard. The, uh, uh, yeah. So yeah, you've got sixty foot of invasion of privacy. So. Uh, <laughs> 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 yes. That's exactly what it is. <laughs> but we're pirates, so it's fine. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this poor this this poor guard that we just like got recruited. Yes, can we speak to him? Can we, yeah, can yeah. we ask him? Yes. Yes, I yep. think uh, what... Yeah, you, you you take the noose back off, the short noose mm -hmm. back off him, and he's there like Oh that was quick. Well you're one of us now. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Oh, it means you'll, you'll get, get to, to live. Yes. Also, uh, excuse me for your intrusion into your mind earlier. I needed to know what was going on. Oh god, that was you, thank god! <laughs> oh god! <laughs> so we have Who a else few questions. questions. <laughs> I've earned be praised! <laughs> Who else did you think it was? Oh, well, that's the first time I've had yeah. that reaction. I thought it was the bloody sparks up the, up the hill! Sparks oh, up the hill? Question, by the way. Uh, you know sparks is slang for majors. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, no, that that was me. Normally, oh. the range of that spell is not too far. So if you ever feel that, it's normally someone close by. Uh -huh. Here he goes. Oh, go. Didn't lesson. know it came with an education. <laughs> yeah. Oh, don't well, worry. Every Sunday we have uh, that on deck. 
Yes. A lot of the skags don't know how <laughs> to is, this read. This is canon. You're not even making this up. <laughs> <laughs> you made it. You pre-made that up earlier. <laughs> He's looking at you, you wondering if you're bullshitting or not. It, it, for him, it sounds like sarcasm. <laughs> no, he's oh. serious. <laughs> he will learn. Uh, okay, so what the fuck are you doing here? Vengeance. Mm -hmm. Of course. The, the thing on the hill. Oh, fuck. Who's, um... He suddenly realizes you're going back in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> We're gonna Thanks. race this place Thanks. to the ground. Oh, that, that that's very morbid, Scrumpius. Um, yes. So, uh, Logan. Who's in these buildings? Why is it so quiet? What's well, going on? All the fucking townsfolk. I don't know if you can call them that. Are they from uh, here? Well, uh, <laughs> we do it? have reading classes, by the way. I'm assisting. <laughs> They, well, they have. Look, around here, there's always people who are either escaping their own tribe or some other fucking tribe, or, or maybe they were disgraced for some reason. They got weird fucking roles, right? You, all you have to do is just comb the wastes, and you can get lots of people who are just lost, right? Then there's others that they got to order, tempted them from overseas. They wanted people from all different species, yeah? Uh, you know, they, they got Goliaths there, they got like, fucking drow teeth, they've even got some Aladrins, yeah? What they wanted for? Well, hmm. while they're in the town, they do work, yeah? Anything that we ask them, or anything we fucking tell them to, right? We want them to chop, they chop. We get them to load, unload, they do that. We want them to harvest organs, they'll do it, right? <laughs> They go oh, up into they right. go up the hill into the workhouses and they do whatever they're fucking given, right? And they don't ever complain because they get shown on day one what happens to people who do. Right? Okay, so all the people in the houses are innocent. Uh well I don't know, I mean they, they got I, I don't know if they're fucking innocent or not. All I know is they got a fucking worse deal than I mean me. they they are not involved in the house on the hill. Oh, they work for them. They don't have much of they a fucking choice. choice. There's no other. There's no other jobs, and we don't let them leave. Yes, that's yeah? what I mean. They they're they, not doing this willingly. When they first came here, whether they came here willingly or not, they signed this uh, uh, non-disclosure agreement, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> and then do you okay? Basic, right? Basically, means they can't say what they've seen here. Now, they can pay if they've got enough money to have their mind wiped of the entire experience here. Right? Huh. Two people have done it so far. Right? And they got fucking lucky. People gave them the money. Yeah? I think one of them actually stole the money. <laughs> Nobody fucking found out until they'd gone. But Mage goes up to them, wipes the entire experience from them, shoves them in a boat, tells them to fuck off. Right? They end up down the coast, not no fucking idea, no possessions, mind, because they don't know what's theirs, right? They just have their mind wiped. All they remember is applying for the job and getting told to fuck off. When they say, "Oh, well, where's my money?" they say, "You racked up too much debt." Well, they did or not? Well, chances are they don't have any money anyway because they had to pay for the procedure. Hmm. Two people at the whole fucking town, and they all want out, right? Hmm. They're holding the rest of them there. And I think those two are allowed out just to show that they're playing fair and that you just have to work hard enough and you can get yourself out. But the problem is they don't get paid enough. By the time they pay for their food, their lodging was shit from the start. They can't pay. If they can't pay, they can't leave, right? Right. Hey, fuck, we had kiddies born here. They can't leave because the parents can't leave. Mm -hmm. The parents have said, look, you know, let my... Let my... Uh, my family come here to pick up the children and I'll carry on work for you. No dice. No dice. No no unauthorized communications outside of the town. Anyone who comes up to the uh, to the port, if they get found uh, oh, what was it called? Industrial espionage. They're sentenced to work. Because they're fined. 
and they have to work it off. Hmm. That's how we got the first fucking ship. Hmm. Have you seen the ship return? Oh, no, not like, have you, have you ever seen the ship? The ship? Not since they put it in the, uh, in the shed. And then after that, it comes back at night. We tell everyone to go into their homes. We get them to put the shutters over the windows. And we are all facing the houses when it arrives. But so you've never it. seen it? Oh, I fucking heard it, though. Heard the noises. It's mm. like it's... I don't know, they got a fucking wild animals on it or something like that. I don't know. Or worse. Mm. Right? Mm. But it's late. And the majors are fucking mental. It won't be mental. arriving. They're going to be doing some big sleep that. spell <laughs> in a couple of hours' time, right? They're going to be doing this big sleep spell in a couple of hours' time. And we, when the sparks come down into the town, we are going to be there dragging people out of their beds. And it's that fucking building there. When it's arrived. Hmm? When it's no, arrived. Regardless, regardless no, 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 no. They're, 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 do, they're doing this because it's late. Yeah. They, oh. they say they, they... And we've got the work order for the morning. Check it out. He pulls out a book, hands it to you, and it says, All members of township shipbuilding. Hmm. Oh, they're going to make a new one. Making another one. Or more. Not just necessarily a new one. They might be making more. Yeah. Well, now we can't have that, can we? Do you know how many they have made already? What do you mean? The ships. Well, there's only been one ship. It's the ship. Okay. But they want a second one. Right, so you only know they've only made one so far. Yeah, it's only only ever been the ship. Right. It's the, it's the only fucking ship this, this place has got. Don't know what fucking supplies it brings back, but we're not even allowed to look at it. Apparently one of my lot did look at it once, and now he's got a serve on it. Ah. Ah. Fancy <laughs> Does he have uh, a name? What's his name? What's his name? <laughs> what's his name? <laughs> Just for <laughs> luck's sake, I will do the luck roll. Roll, Razor. Uh, roll. What's his name? Uh, nice guy. Yeah. They might be one of them. <laughs> How long ago was it? <laughs> that was about three months ago. Oh, it might be one of them. Got a so, fucking thing now. We could have so, killed him. We could, I don't kill him. <laughs> fucking or... foul it's, smell on that ship as well. He, well. he never had a strong stomach, even for the beer. I bet he's vomiting his guts up now. Hmm. He probably is, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Well, that makes you sleep better. <laughs> uh... He looks at you with a. And you can see, even, <laughs> in the, even in the night, you can see that he's gone a little pale <laughs> at that point. He goes, I don't want to know. No, I, no, you I don't. I just want this night done with and us fucking off, if that's all right with you. Yes. Hypothetically, what well, will happen? And Scornfew yeah. says, so this explains the crying people. Yeah. <laughs> mm hmm. What would happen, hypothetically, if the majors came down and didn't have anybody to build a ship with? Like, well, well, well if, if everyone just was magically gone. They, you know, they just they wouldn't be able to build a new ship, right? Or are there more people than? Well, the... you're saying if we manage to get rid of the entire fucking townsfolk, it's gonna mm. be a big just, just hypothetically. <laughs> get around. Well, yeah, they, they 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 wouldn't be able to build a new ship. They'd be pissed. <laughs> they'd probably put they'd probably put my former colleagues to task. And all they care about is that it's done. Hmm. Mm. Have you ever been in to the building of the hill? No, nah, no, we're not allowed in. Uh, the, the, well, we, we go into one room. They call it the transfer room. It's where we put all of the um, unconscious individuals so that they can be set to work doing other things. We put them in. We put them on tables. Uh, tables with wheels. Yeah, like mm -hmm. carts. Uh, but they're made of metal. Don't know why you'd waste metal on that. Perfectly good cart. But, yeah, yeah. Um, and they tell us to fuck off. Do you ever okay. see these people again? No. no. Maybe they work to death. 
wouldn't be the first time that some fucking knob's done that. Shit. Back in the old uh, empire, we used to send people down the mines, and they never fucking came back. Mm. Well, they'd come back night after night until they didn't. You think you you're what I'm thinking, Sharin? Hmm? You're thinking what I'm thinking? Well, yeah. I don't know. What are you thinking? Battery. Well, obviously, the people who were sent up there became the crew. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The crew or food. You think they're serving on the ship now? There's a lot of them. No. Oh, they're no. not the crew. They're, they're part of the crew, not necessarily the crew. <laughs> <laughs> he, or... It, that, the, 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 the paling of his face. He goes, <laughs> I, I'm going to go back if I don't want to know. <laughs> well, A wise choice. Yeah. Biomancy. Do we... Have you ever heard of it? <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't explain <laughs> that to him right No, now. I'm <laughs> just... I'm not going to explain it. I'm also Poor ruined. Logan Wellis. Mm. <laughs> he did not sign up for this. No. He didn't do it. He he really didn't <laughs> I mean... I mean Look, I, I get what that fucking thing does, and he points to the noose. He goes, yeah, I've broken people's legs because I haven't paid a debt. I've roughed them up, made it so even the clerics didn't know where to fucking start. I'm not a nice man, but I've never been an evil man. Mm. Oh, okay, okay, I, I have, but not in this way. This is beyond, you know, it's beyond. I would never do fucking something like this. Yes, and that yeah. is why the nose didn't kill you. Mm-hmm. Which way? <laughs> Again, he goes. <laughs> <laughs> How much do you know of the Forsaken? I have a feeling I'm bad enough. Fuck a lot more. <laughs> oh, oh, you are. yes. Welcome now, on board. You love it. Let's start, let's start the evacuation in the plans. How many guards are there in town at any given time? Any rough estimates we can know of? Uh, yeah, 20 in the streets, uh, 16 at the dock, um, 4 at the stables, 2 at the road. The 2 at the road really are just their deterrents. Uh, mostly uh, we just walk around, keep them in the houses. Um, uh, so I mean, if, if somebody really buddy. wanted to escape, they could do it. It's more making them feel like they can't escape rather than making the place watertight. Mm-hmm. By the way... Standard it's... depression. My, uh, I forgot to mention, Simon, my thing has been active with surface thoughts for most of the time for the first minute, so if there was anything... Telling sp- the absolute mm-hmm. fucking truth the yeah. entire time. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can imagine this guy... No, I, I didn't people. imagine him lying, but I would just mention it, because otherwise... surface thoughts are, are what these saying. guys are my best hope of getting out here alive, <laughs> mm-hmm. and I'm going to give that less than 50-50 chance. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you know um, roughly how many majors... There are how many uh, sparkies? Sparks. Uh, Electricians. Normally, <laughs> normally there's like twelve of them that come out into the into the town, okay. but it could be more. Um, it's quite. I can't lot. tell if it's always the same. We don't tend to look them in the eye. I mean, you don't mm. want to piss them off. It's their recruiters that we normally work with. They're not full on majors themselves. They're like, okay. they're, they're they're kind of like. Uh, uh, hobby casters or whatever they get given a bit of magical training by the sparks uh but they they're mostly the ones that kind of come in and they're the ones who uh they they hold the meetings in the town to keep people kind of chilled you know uh yeah. there's one there's one of them um albert uh he can come in and just talk to them for like a minute and everybody calms uh or at least the ones that are really het up they calm down you know the so, majors do they look off somehow or did it look normal again i don't fucking look at them uh mostly they're all dressed in the same robes uh, the same low hoods you can just see like the mouths some of them are some of them are female i guess or maybe like elves uh some of them are uh are, are male i can tell because of the beards do, do female dwarves have beards i haven't spent much time on. uh but yes. d- yeah but the the, the, the yeah that's all you really see. I mean, whatever you can see from like there down, they speak. Mm. You see the robes, and they speak. You obey every time. That's what you painted it. Good to know. Good to know. Does anyone command the mages that you know of? If they do, it's well above my pay grade, mate. <laughs> okay. As expected. 
I think we've got a good lead, don't we, guys? I, I, I rub great. Scornfuse head when he hits his head on the barrel. I, I remove it, rub his head, and put it back on. It's awesome okay. play. How are we going to get the fuck out of it? What do we have to do to get the fuck out of it? Why? We have a ship coming to pick us up in a few hours. Until then, we're going to pick up as many people as we can who will be able to live normal lives after this. Yes. Well, you'll have, you'll have to take out the fucking guards and you'll have to do it quietly. Yes, that mm. is. Should be able to smuggle them, at least outside of town, so they're out of the way while we ransack it. How the guards... How much, how in are they on this? They're just scary fuckers with big sticks. Yeah? Mm. I mean, they're all pretty strong. I mean, they'd probably give you a decent whack. But that that's it. I mean, a lot of them are here just because they enjoy hitting people. Yeah? Mm. Yeah. Okay, can we, can, can we, would we be able to take out the two on the gate? Well, that's or, these or two. The gate. That's, yeah, that's these no, 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 it's not these no, two. These were two that came out of an alley. Uh, yeah. No, I'm these thinking if gate. we create a way out as well as a safe haven that people can hide out in while we ransack the town with the crew later. Uh, now it's Felicia talking, not Ava, but I'm... Mm. Yeah. Just so you guys know. Because uh, mm. then uh, they will be out of the way. We can still burn down all the fucking buildings and all of that jazz. That's normal pirating things. And they can rebuild it later and start a new town with better leadership. With blackjack and hookers. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> a map would be a great idea from Scorn as well. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah I can, do, I can do that for you. I can do that for. Yeah. Uh, yeah Logan, guards. Do they always walking at least twos, or do some? Yeah, you got to pair off just in case somebody jumps you. But yeah, <laughs> that it, works. It, it, <laughs> he shrugs as if to say, he shrugs at the guy who's unconscious by the side, and you know, as if to say, you had a fucking sleep bomb, dude. Uh, <laughs> and he goes, well. Yeah, I mean... So 20, that's nine pairs of two, which means we have... Yeah, so that, that's why everything is divisible by two. Uh, so you've got two pairs um, at the... Uh, well, you've got, uh, you've got ten pairs walking around this, uh, the town. You've got... Uh, as I say, between town and village. Uh, you've got two pairs at the stables, one pair at the entrance, and then you've got eight pairs on the dock. The eight pairs at the dock... Um, Seems a little excessive. Hmm. Um, but you have a feeling but, for a ship to come in. <laughs> yeah, but if we make sure that, like, it, there are eight out of the ten pairs, eight of them were at the docks. Yeah, we've taken out one. That means there's two left in the patrolling the city. Hmm. So if we can make a route that goes so that we don't hit any of the ones down there. It should be pretty easy to smuggle people out. But didn't we come well. up to the dock? No, you came, you came mm. from the countryside. You, yeah. you just yeah. went cross country. Um, yeah, I mean, you can ask about that if you wish, but yeah. And I suppose the countryside is too dangerous to take people back to it. It oh. was quiet through there. Yeah. You killed a bunch of things on the way here. It's mm. a lot more, uh, it's a lot safer than it was <laughs> this morning. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. Because if we can, yeah, if we can take out the two that are on the entrance, so that you know they won't. As well as the two Ooh. in the city, we still have enough sleep bombs. That's true. And then yeah, two by two. Hermit's keeping take out watch. Some patrols. How many people could you theoretically fit in uh, Shirin's darkness? Uh, in my darkness, you could fit quite a lot of people, actually. It's a twenty foot radius, isn't it? Uh, mm. Let me check. It is. I did that with fifteen. It's quite big. Boo, 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 boo. Darkness, darkness, darkness. So uh, theoretically, we fifteen could use foot that. radius, which is a thirty foot sphere. Like circle. Yeah. yeah. Thankfully. Yeah. Uh, right. Thirty foot radius. And uh, if you. So, in a radius, you can get, um, with moving and all the rest of it, and mm. people being coordinated, you, how, how many did you say you had? 
30 foot diameter. 30. diameter. Diameter. Yeah. 30-foot yeah. diameter, okay. Yeah. Mm. Uh, 15-foot uh, yeah. radius, but yes. Yeah. Uh, in that case, you could get a... It's fit about 30, 40 people, shouldn't you? Yeah. Yeah, th th this one... Mm. Look at This that one is targets an area of effect uh, when you're doing uh, mine, so I'm actually going to... Um... Yeah, I'd say you could... Probably get with people kind of bumping around because they're going to be in the darkness and can't yeah, see. Yeah. Yeah. I'd say practically you can get 20 people. Yeah. Well, you can get them all to hold hands yeah. and have a leader. Yeah. You said you had drows and things, so some of them can yeah. see. Yeah. Well, they so, can't no, they can't. See uh, drows can't see in oh, magical darkness. Right. Yeah. yeah magic. They right. need to be <laughs> like. <laughs> right. Needs someone to be warlocks. Either way, warlocks. we can probably like. All right. At least get them out of town. We can get a quite a few amount. We can move a lot of people at once, is what yeah. I'm trying to get out. And yeah. especially if it's dark, and then have. Uh, I I would love like to couple darkness. this with a We're silent spell. So I, I mm. don't have silence, and something I need to pick up is silence. <laughs> <laughs> they seem to be. Pretty I have good at pass without a trace. Ooh, yes. If we couple those two, darkness mm. and pass without a trace, uh, we can. Yeah. Captain Horn to away group. <laughs> How y'all doing? Oh. Well, the uh, town is basically a hostage uh, situation. Everyone in the houses are innocent and trying to pay off their debt. <laughs> we heard this tune before. The mm -hmm. mages in the big tower? Not so bad. Mm -hmm. mm. I like me a good siege. We what do you, uh, we... you need from the way back? We need a small group that can protect the citizens once we smuggle them out of town into a uh, the countryside. That way we can erase the ground uh, of this place once we're done with it. Do you need to smuggle them out of town? Yes. We, yes. Yes. Unless you want You're sure to... that I can't just pull straight up and get them all on the fucking ship? We could just do that, yeah. Just have them... Probably. We just need we just to need convince to get them. them. Running. We yeah, need to take, convince, them, convince them, to them to get out, as well as take care of the guards. 16 guards that are on the pier. <laughs> 16 guards. Don't Shouldn't be laugh. an issue for the way back. Mm -hmm. Don't make me laugh. If they're near as well, we'll be able to use the cannons on them. Yeah. True. Yeah. We just need to get in, convince people, give them a time, coordinate in. Yeah, forsaken. There's a few of them there who've probably been asking for vengeance. Mm -hmm. The second that you turn up, they're gonna know why you're there. Very much so. You've gotta convince oh. them one or two things. You either get them a safe route that they can go out by stealth, or you get them ready to rush onto the ship when we get up there. Yeah. We can do those two. Yeah. Which one? Think Your rush. decision. I'll give you some time to think it over. You can answer to this message anytime you like. And with that, we're going to take a 10 minute break. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Thank you. Very good time to stop this. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Perfect. So we will see you Let's guys talk. in a park. Yes. We'll minutes. see you guys soon. And yeah. also, Simon, make a note of what Scornfuse is doing. Yes. We want mm. maps. Maps. If it matters. Uh, yeah. I uh, haven't got a map with you at the moment, but uh, I will say you have asset map. Yep. Um, that you know where you're going. Yeah. How many people um, si uh, sizes? Yeah. How many people there are? If there are any inter yeah, just have this barrel walking around <laughs> <laughs> looking at things. Yeah, because he can just sit down <laughs> and wait. Yeah. 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 Okay. Sure. Uh, yeah. You you know where everything is. Confused. Basically, uh, it is town, dock. On this side, you've got uh, main road and um, the stables, and then. Uh, between those two there, just kind of going up the hill, you've got the mercenaries um, buildings, which are just a couple of buildings. And then beyond that, you've got this big geometric tower across mm. between a castle and a major's tower. Yeah. So it's a big uh, stone block. Yes, Scorpius is um, getting info on the people as well, which is very yeah. important. Anyway, very we'll good. see you about in yes, 10 right. minutes. Yeah, and I'm going to get Scorpius to roll then. Right. Yeah. Right. Cool. See you. See you in a sec. See ya.
and welcome back everybody. So when we left off, uh, Captain Horn had contacted the away team uh, to find out if they had uh, some information. Looks like they have some already. And uh, they uh, were devising a plan, deciding whether or not discretion was the better part of valor and sneak everybody out of the town or whether the way back should come in guns blazing, drop the gangplank and uh, the uh, people should run onto the way back whilst chaos ensues around them. We're going to uh, first of all uh, get the guys to declare their. I love uh, the Scorpius just thinks everybody is naked. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, first of all, I'm going to get you guys to declare what your plan is, and then I'm going to give Hermit, uh, Scorpius, and even Prime a bit of uh, screen time. But first of all, players, what is the plan? Plan. Do you want to go? Yeah, I'll do it. So, the plan is to sneak into the villagers' houses. We're going to convince them, one way or another, to be evacuating on a queue. The queue will be releasing the horses at the stables. So when that happens, that creates a commotion. And then the villagers will be heading straight to the docks, to where the way back will be, will be docked at the time. And the way back will be dealing with... Oh, and us as well. We'll be dealing with the um, guards on the docks and any of the guards in the city along that route. All in an attempt to get the villagers out and so that we can storm the keep. Unimpeded by the guards. Okay. So, we're going to cut over very quickly, being that we were watching chat and I had to do it, <laughs> uh, to Scornfuse and Hermit. So, at the moment, there is a French maid uh, walking around holding hands with a barrel. <laughs> yeah. Anyone who's not watching this fucking channel, shame on you. Fucking shame on you. Uh, <laughs> and to the YouTube chat, this is what we love about this game. Yeah. Uh, yes, because uh, I uh, we have yet to get it, and we will do it for the next viewer contribution game, which I've already written. Uh, we will get it so that when we do the YouTube, uh, we will make sure that we've got the chat down. Letters. Which we probably just put it on screen somewhere. Uh, yeah, we'll just make a box and make it ticker mm. tape up. Yeah. I have a plan. Okay. Please have a plan. Please <laughs> yeah. yeah. have a plan. I'll plin. leave it to the graphic artist. Yep. Yeah. Um, but yes. Yeah, so um, I'm going to cross over to Hermit Confuse. I'm going to bring Prime in as well. So Prime, you have watched as this French maid <laughs> holding hands with a barrel uh, starts walking into town. <laughs> <laughs> They're mostly um, keeping uh, in the uh, uh, in the shadows and things like that. Of course, a little scorn fuse. All scorn fuse has to do is hunker down a bit to disguise. But a French maid standing in the middle of very the, tall French maid. Yeah, it might not be uh, that easy to explain away. So you pull out your uh, your trusty dreadlock and. Um, you're kind of there following, uh, drawing a bead on anybody who might be a danger. Um, you are in the middle of looking at a uh, what seems to be a small family of dwarves with uh, a couple of um, tieflings that seem to just be all just hunkered around. They're in their beds, these kind of straw pallets. Uh, they're whispering to each other. One of the uh, the tieflings has uh, her hands on uh, the right leg of one of the dwarves and is muttering something very low under her breath. Um, and you can see that there's light emanating from her fingers into the leg. I have a feeling it's some form of healing spell. Um, you communicate to Hermit, who's inside, and uh, you go to turn the corner and you end up going uh, into two um, two guards. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the guards can see that that barrel has two little blue feet. <laughs> um, looks at the maid as like, fuck. Um, and I'm going to do a very quick combat with two guards uh, versus um, prime Hermit and Scorn Fuse. We're not going <laughs> to roll initiative. Yeah. We're going to get it because the, the guys obviously are going to wait for the lag of 
hearing my words and then rolling. Um, so uh, what I'm going to do is, as they're like, what the hell? Because it's a barrel holding hands with a French maid. <laughs> I'm going to say, you've got initiative. <laughs> so, I'm so sorry. Would you please let us pass? <laughs> uh, he's just like, what the fuck is this? Um, and um, I'm going to just do a very quick battle because uh, I think you guys deserve it. You guys have been playing absolutely brilliant. Um, and so uh, you can see, Hermit, that uh, ordinarily you'd be able to somehow blag your way out of this, but uh, this was just too weird. You can't, uh, you can't, uh, the, and the look on their faces is that they, uh, they're going to come forward and clobber you. <laughs> oh, God, no, I'm just tossing <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, You know what? I, 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 if you want to do that, Hermit, you absolutely can. <laughs> uh, um, so um, the, these guards are obviously aren't super super strong. They're big fucking uh, mooks. Uh, so um, uh, in fact, all the guards are kind of mooks. Um, Prime, uh, Prime, you can fire your pistol. Uh, I, if I didn't mention it before, your dreadlocks don't make any sound. They're magical. Um, uh, there's a, f a small flash of light, but that's about it. And you're, you're pretty sure that the only guards would be able to see it, the ones you're about to shoot at. So, uh, Prime, uh, fire your pistol. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, so definitely hits. Um, so, uh, Hermit and Scornfuse, uh, you watch as this sickly green energy hits one of the guards full on in the chest. He goes... <laughs> And you can see that blackened veins are starting to creep out of his shirt and up his face. Um, he's not dead yet, but out of his 11 hit points. Uh, uh, he's giving um, a barrel to his face. Eight. There's only three hit points left. Um, <laughs> okay, Hermit. Yeah. Um, barrel to gonna... face. <laughs> That's confusing to roll out. <laughs> um, okay, uh, Hermit, give me uh, just an exclamation point D20 for the barrel toss. This is a two part roll. Um. Okay, uh, a nine. <laughs> uh, Skag gets plus four, so that's 13. Um, nice so you, you throw the barrel, boom, and the barrel hits the floor in front of the uh, the nearest uh, guard. Um, Scorm, I'm going to get you to do your rollout before we go back to Hermit's Acid. Uh, so uh, give me a um, Skag attack, um, but uh, because it didn't pass, there's going to be a penalty. So this barrel hits the floor. Oh. Uh, yeah. So uh, what I'm going to say is that the, uh, as the barrel hits the floor, the barrel breaks, oh. um, and uh, you kind of <laughs> roll out, and this little blue cobbled just rolls to the guy's boot. <laughs> um, so nothing's happened there. Hermit, you have one guard that has 11 hit points left, and one guard that has three hit points left. Be all you can be, or be someone else. It's role playing. Um, and um, give me an acid attack, I presume, at the <laughs> weakest guy. Uh, not skag attack, sorry, the uh, acid attack. This oh no! <laughs> uh, hits the side, and uh, you can see that they they're gonna uh, they're gonna go uh, on an attack for you now. It's gonna be a theme attack. Uh, because you guys don't technically have hit points. Okay. Uh, so the the first one uh, swings the cudgel, trying to knock the French maid out, um, <laughs> and then underestimates the fact that this French maid has got some fucking moves, as uh, from underneath your skirts, Hermit, you pull out your cutlass and parry this thing. Um, <laughs> There's this chunk as this uh, metal cutlass hits wood, so thankfully didn't make, even make the tinging sound. Uh, the second one is just going to try and boot um, Scomfuse, who's right next to it, and I'm going to roll this twice and take the highest. Uh, Ooh, three. three. Okay, so that's a miss. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, and a two. <laughs> He, he goes to kick and you roll out the way. Goes to stamp on your head and you roll back as this nimble little... Um, uh... Oh, magic burst as well. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> Ooh, 
You're technically a player, but you're also a viewer. How does this work? Roll me a D100. <laughs> I think you've earned it. <laughs> eight. Oh, no. Oh, what's an eight? Oh, what's an, an eight? Eight is... Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Um, I would like you to type in... There's going to be five seconds between each one. I would like you to type in exclamation point. Two, three, six, oh, no! <laughs> and I want you to do it four times. Is it fun as all? It's centered on yourself. It's a fireball centered on yourself. <laughs> Stealth oh, option just went down the shit at the pace. Okay, so uh, the eight. I have to say this is one of the most surreal fights. Oh, I'm so glad yes. the stags have got plot armor. <laughs> yes, <laughs> you guys got plot armor. Quick, this escalated so much. I think you might have to revise your plan, guys. <laughs> <laughs> bye, bye, stealth. Well, we. Uh, Keep rolling it was nice cues. knowing, yeah. you got to roll that four times. There we go. I want a 12, we so 20 points of damage so far. Plan. We haven't. <laughs> May I point out, in this campaign with two sorcerers, a skag was the first one to cast the fireball. Oh, is it a 30-second wait time? Fuck that shit. Hang on, let me sort that out for you. Uh, da -da 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 -da. That night bot. Stop <laughs> being a dick. Oh, no. Can you just do exclamation mark eight d six? Uh, no, I need to program it in. It it it's not a um. It's not a real roller. Yeah, I, I, I no, could it roll it, it says, on. It says five seconds on this one. Yeah. Oh. Uh, but I'll I'll update it anyway. There we go. Uh, so we got was it one two three? So that's uh, twenty four so far. Oh, your barrel's fucked, dude. Yeah. Your <laughs> barrel's gone. Your barrel's gone. Oh, Clothes are gone. I could have saved it before, but not now. Now you were yeah. actually naked. Yeah, previously you could have done a repair roll, or yeah. if anyone had the mending canter, yeah, you could have Alphonse repaired your barrel. Mending. Yeah, th th there's going to be nothing but ash left now. <laughs> there will be no barrel left of, uh, to save. We'll find you a new barrel. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, you guys have plot armor, so you're fine. <laughs> Just scrumptious. I know exactly how this happens as well because you know you, you gotta rock the cobalt sometime. Oh yeah, I will um, all the time. <laughs> so one more scrumptious. Jeez. Oh, oh wow. god. I love the fact that when when they've been doing it for the players and a nine. Okay, so that is thirty three points of damage. Right, that, that's good to know. I need to know that because I need to know how much property damage is being done as well. Oh, um, no. So um, right, so th this is how it goes. Right. The, their clothes are they still there or are they burnt? <laughs> right. Yeah. So we'll, we'll go for it. this guy goes to kick Scornfuse. Scornfuse <laughs> rolls out the way. Then he goes up and goes to stamp on Storm, uh, uh, Stormfuse's, uh, Stormfuse's throat, and Scornfuse rolls again. When, Hermit, you see Scornfuse roll, and suddenly the face is facing upwards, the eyes are glowing <laughs> bright red. And suddenly you remember something, and that is the cobbles are related to dragons. There's this... <laughs> and then the world explodes. <laughs> As from out of Scornfuse's mouth, a small bead of light <laughs> goes up into the air, and you go, "That just looks. Lo that looks a lot like the. Oh fuck!" And you manage to dive for cover, uh, Hermit. As suddenly the whole world is lit up. <laughs> so I'd like to point out that if you look at, uh, at either your DM screen or equivalent, which I have written here. Um, a, uh, a, a a medium like barrel or a chandelier has at maximum four d eight hit points. Right, that's a resilient thing. Barrels are fairly resilient, but not super resilient. That's like the top level of a medium thing. Mm. Um, chests, uh, small sections of ramshackle housing walls, uh, only have three. So at maximum, they only have uh, eighteen hit points. You just did thirty three. Well, Which chaos. Means, no. And you're stood right next to a. Um, you're stood right no next to the babies house. Babies have been torched. 
Um, Ooh. Well, this one was full of dwarves and tieflings, thankfully. Okay. Uh, there were no children. <laughs> well, um, we will escort them out. <laughs> there's this... <laughs> as we, at which point, uh, Prime, you're there holding the gun going, wow, well, fuck. Um, and you guys, as you're there, confirm, confirming your, uh, your, uh, your plan with Captain Horn, she goes... Ah, oh, never mind. Now we're just gonna get there. <laughs> <laughs> you can just hear it starting to scream. Get that rocking at the angle up right now. Baby's first fireball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, as the back of this house gets completely obliterated, you can see uh, dwarves getting up, going, "What the fuck?" And all the rest of it. You get tieflings go, go, go. kind of patting down their clothes because they're fucking tieflings. Um, and, <laughs> yeah. um, I would just like to point out they probably look outside and they see a French maid, a weirdo <laughs> oh, with a, vials, a, a French maid who. Half of their dress, back, front, left, or right, hermit's choice, has been obliterated as they hit the deck. <laughs> so you only have three quarters, rotationally, of a French maid's costume on now. Um, and, uh, uh, and, and the two guards are absolutely incinerated. There are two <laughs> guard corpses going... <gasps> <laughs> in front of you because they were at ground fucking zero. <laughs> uh, obviously, Scornfuse momentarily felt very draconic um, and has been completely unharmed. Uh, hiccups, a little bit of heartburn, but that's about it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Amazing. Oh, no. Feel a breeze. <laughs> Um, Hermit, uh, roll me a uh, exclamation point d20 for your uh, persuasion check, and we'll add four to it. It's going to be because I feel a breeze. Yeah. <laughs> uh, everything around you Wait. is on fire. Oh, good, good. Wait. Uh, Wait. Yeah, Hermit, you just scream at the dwarves. And Shireen, like, where did Scormfuse and Hermit go? Boom! <laughs> <laughs> the... uh, I've yeah, um, actually... Scorpius, um, permit, let's, and aura. Let's go for... I'm going to go for Danny. Uh, Danny, give me a dexterity saving throw as a chimney pot starts to uh, whistle <laughs> oh, down no. like a meteor in your direction. Uh, 12. <laughs> 12. Uh, take... Uh, okay, I'm, I'm going to maul this up. Uh, take seven points of bashing damage as a chimney. Uh, hits you full on in the back. Oh. Wow. I believe Ow. our plan has changed. <laughs> yeah, there's a bill. There's bits of building raining down <laughs> on the town, um, and, um, and yeah, the guards are running. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll cast Thaumaturgy on myself so that I can <coughs> shout three times louder. Sure. Um, Hermit, you have successfully persuaded this house that you are their rescue party, and that blowing up part of their house was intentional. <laughs> you can see one of one of the tieflings fully approves and is like, yeah. <laughs> and he's charging down the street towards the docks. Um, the dwarves are picking up whatever they can, fucking chair legs, table legs. One of them picks up a table leg and the end's burning and goes, hmm, and <laughs> runs into the street. Um, I too, I told you, I, I can do magic, but magic must be to do it. <laughs> and it's true, he did say that. He did say that. Um, wow, we're going to have to cinematic the fuck out mm -hmm. of this. Okay, players, what are you doing? Uh, yes. The world just blew up and so did your plans. What are you doing? Alphonse is going to shout. So first of all, whoever wants to live, run to the docks. Gornfuse, Hermit, there's very Prime. There's very cautious people looking in the windows and stuff. They were already looking at the fireball, but now they're <laughs> listening to this voice in the darkness and kind of, you can see that even in these small windows, they're going. <laughs> and, and all the rest of it. But then they see a bunch of dwarves all running down yep. the street. Um, you can see that uh, the House of Humans, um, uh, which uh, which to you guys are clothed, um, uh, <laughs> suddenly a few of them come out and go, oh, fuck it, let's do it! Um, and they're picking up, uh, again, uh, chairs, tables, candlestick, and mm -hmm. charging down uh, to the docks um, as <clears throat> you can hear, boom, 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 yeah. boom. Mm -hmm. uh, as two uh, 
twin fires of cannons um, Ooh, uh, tell you that they I are they are just about around. Broadside. Boom. We got <laughs> cannons. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. We're not going to do the cannons yet, but uh, yeah, you can uh, you can hear the oh yeah the sound sound effect. sound sound effect. Uh, yeah, yeah, you can hear the cannons. Basically, they they dry fired some of the cannons, saying we are we are in position. We're coming in. Mm. Um, and uh... <laughs> Alphonse is going to finish up that shout by telling Hermit and um, Scorn and Prime to get back here. <laughs> sure. <laughs> uh, um, I will. Um, I will tell Alphonse to tell the people that they, it's the Forsaken and it's time to get their vengeance. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sure. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, did, uh, do you relay that message? Yeah. yeah, it's time for your vengeance. Get to the docks. Um, at that point, you do see that um, some Eladrin and some Wood Elves Ooh. leap out of the uh, one of the houses, and suddenly you can see uh, they pull out <laughs> these cruel-looking bows and start firing at the guards. Apparently, they've been making makeshift bows, Ooh, um, and very you, cool. you can see that the the fletching on it isn't that great. You have a feeling they've been getting like seagull and pigeon feathers wherever <laughs> they can find them to fletch in yeah. secret. Um, and as two of the guards run up and go, what the fuck you got those? Ch -ch 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 and there's just mm. um, with elven accuracy, ch -ch 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 -ch, they get feathered and uh, and fall back dead. You can see that some of the dwarves now are using pack tactics on some of the other guards, uh, beating the ever-loving shit out of them <laughs> um, at this point where... In the adrenaline of the moment, the fireball may have done the job. Um... <laughs> uh, so, I want to brilliant. paint the scene on Skags. So, Hermit is holding Scornfuse's hands and running while dangling Scornfuse behind him and <laughs> as Scornfuse is, yeah, and then he also has acid in his empty hands, so he is ready. Where, by the way, where is your like hot like three like one? Which part of your dress is uh, missing? Is what yeah, I think she's trying to say. Yeah, which part of your dress is missing? <laughs> All I can see is just this really respectable French maid, completely buttless or something. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Just that's like back is his well. butt. <laughs> oh, the side. The side. Um, okay, so one, one of your sides is completely scorched. Um, and uh, yeah, so you can see that Hermit and uh, Scumfuse are coming up to you guys as you presumably are running down into I the... I assume Aura's with them as well, he said I, so... Uh, yep, yep. Uh, or, well, Aura was kind of back anyway and just uh, training the uh, the pistol on them. Um, so uh, Logan uh, runs forward and goes, Bill, Bill, come here, Bill, 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 got a secret. <laughs> Smashes him across the face. Um, and goes, always oh, fucking hated that guy. Um, and, and starts running in. Uh, goes, oh shit. And, yep. and starts pulling off his shirt. Um, you can see the guy's kind of ripped underneath. And he goes, I need to be marked somehow. Uh, fuck. Um, and uh, basically throws his cudgel away, knowing that all the cudgels seem to be like standard issue. Um, and goes, uh, anyone got a weapon? Oh, uh, yeah. I've got nothing. I'll give it. I've got, I've got a club. Yeah, I'll take it as long as it doesn't look like one of those things. Pass him my club. He goes, stops passing it in his hand. He goes, yeah, good. Got a bit of hat. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, and you can see this guy now topless, uh, and he's screaming at the top of his lungs, "Get to the dogs! Get to the dogs! It's the only way out! Get to the fucking dogs!" <laughs> and Wolf looks... walks up with him with a chair. Looks like he's about to belt him one with a chair and goes, "All right." <laughs> just carries on. It's just kind of like, aren't you one of the guards? No, oh, fuck it. <laughs> You're not attacking me. And uh, just carries on going. Uh, uh, fine, I will can see that uh, one of the uh, gnome, uh, the gnome family is coming out, and you can see that uh, a pair of guards are running up to the uh, uh, the gnome family, screaming at them that the kids will be killed unless they go back inside. Uh, the uh, the mother of the family, the the uh, of the two oldest gnomes, the mother of the family goes <coughs> like that, and one of them goes <coughs> and is held in place. Uh, but you can see that the second kids. one is about to try and cosh the mum over the head to break the spell. You're the only one who's got a shot, man. Take it, prime pistol. Um, the um, the 
Um, uh, her hermits, friends, massed, and guards as well. <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, hermit for you. Um, I'm going to say it's the uh, the dwarves are just about to get to the dock itself. And the way back, you can see these giant sails coming around. You can see the way back is probably training the cannons on them now. Um, but uh, there's a uh, there's a, a guard that's about to call out to the guards at the dock to draw back. Um, if you can get a decent shot with your acid, you're pretty sure that you can stop him uh, screaming at them. And, well, just screaming in general. All you need is a hit. Roll for it. Um, hermit acid. Uh, the um, uh, as for the rest of you guys, um, what are you doing? You need to uh, you need to curb uh, you need to well control the situation. What are you guys doing to control what is now complete chaos? I'm going to get out a deck of cards because it seems like our scags have got us currently under control. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, oh, so wow. I'm going to again, more. man. Uh, yeah, you watch us. Um, yeah, those substandard no. bottles, man. Stop getting them off uh, the freight. You know, you know that he's been uh, <laughs> tapping little tunes on them. Um, <laughs> and uh, so, uh, yeah, unfortunately, uh, the uh, the guy uh, does uh, does seem to be running towards the. Um, uh, <laughs> well, you can physically just throw the cobbled. He's not in a barrel now, but if you want to try for it. I will allow um, uh, Hermit yeah. to uh, to throw his gum fuse. Wee! <laughs> I hate virtual dice. Yeah. 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 Uh, none of your acid attacks have worked yet. Yeah. Actually, I would say that Dalgal is probably close enough to throw his gum fuse and would probably do a slightly better job as an athletics check. Me. It's me. I. <laughs> like a top. <laughs> I throw him at the like a uh, hammer throw with a tail. Back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to make a? Uh, yeah, uh, I need you to make an uh, um, an athletics che uh, check as you uh, for my barrel. <laughs> um, yeah, as you set. as you Superman storm fuse. Um, go for it. That's sixteen. Um, I just realized this is the eight ball special straight from X-Men into our game. Uh, so six, 16, yeah, that's enough to throw a couple. Uh, you, you pick you pick him up and just fucking eight ball him. <laughs> straight at the guy. Um, um, Scornfuse, give me skag attack, but I'm going to add plus five to you to hit. Um, so, uh, yeah, let's see uh, if you can... Uh, Pick up a spear. Uh, that's a dirty twenty. Um, yeah, basically the guy goes look, and as he goes look, he gets a face full of cobble, just yeah. scratching at him like a cat. You know, the two ha two front, uh, the two arms gripping onto his head, the little legs just going rip, 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 rip. Um, and he's just on the floor screaming now as this cobble's kind of scratching up his face. Um, and yeah. uh, being when... in a tropica, it looked like a desert. Climate, they probably didn't expect kobolds. <laughs> Flying kobolds is Flying what they didn't kobolds. expect. Um, <laughs> uh, prime when you've got a, uh, when you've got time. Uh, prime pistol there as well. Um, and um, so uh, yeah, yeah. Her as hermits, there oh, kind of just yeah. wiping, using uh, one of the uh, one of the petticoats of the uh, dress to wipe off the acid before it does any major damage. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Anyone would be surprised by naked white yeah. cobbles. We get to say that sentence. That's why we do this. We yes. get to say yes. that sentence. That's a sentence I said. Also, Prime uh, this is really bad five. bowling. Um, yeah, unfortunately, the uh, the bolt flies wide. Um, and um, uh, I uh, haven't done anything yet, Simon, if I'm allowed to. Uh, if you want to uh, try and save the gnome uh, mother, yeah, that, that works. Much, uh, I would love to. Uh, the gnomes. Yeah, it's time for us to take control again. How do yeah. one, uh, one do that again? <laughs> yeah, how do you take control of the situation is the question for the players. The the, the viewers have got it easy. Yeah. <laughs> we made we made a plan. The plan went straight out the window. We need a new plan. Let's do with a chromatic orb. That sounds good. Um, so crowded mode, cold damage, pushes. Whoosh. Whoosh. Sounds good. Whoosh. Uh, yep. Uh, AC 16. Uh, yep. Yeah, I got a 18. 11 oh, plus 7. Damage. Uh, what's the damage? Damage is. Uh, do, 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 do. Where, where, where is. 
Nice. Yes, that is perfect fate scorn. It's Fire fading forwards. I, I like to think of it as fading forwards. Dice, I just gave dice, you two no, I was just AC 16 one. 11 hit point guys. <laughs> uh, 12. Uh, 12 Ooh. points of damage. Uh, yeah, um, basically the guy turns into a human popsicle um, as he's swinging the thing and just goes and then falls on the floor. He doesn't do the full demolition man shatter. You didn't do enough damage. Uh, but uh, yeah, he falls down just this frozen figure um, uh, dead instantly. Uh, yeah. And in a single shot, you did his hit points plus one. Um, and um, the, the gnome looks back um and and um she uh does a little in the air um and uh, the eye of ayun <laughs> appears in the air as she is basically saying magically bless you mm -hmm. um and uh she goes go run stay with the dwarfs they're good folk come on and uh, uh, the uh, the kids run uh, with uh, flanked by the other gnomes up to the dwarves, who are now um, showing all the dwarven rage that you would expect. As foam flying from their lips, they are running towards <laughs> the um, the sixteen men on the uh, on the dock, um, who are now kind of making like a, a wall, ready to fend them off. At which point, the dock explodes. The, the dock explodes. Cannonballs, yeah. yeah. Cannonballs um, from a full broadside um, smash into the uh, into the pier, um, uh, completely obliterating it. Um, and uh, you can watch as the uh, you watch as the um, uh, only a few of the men on the dock actually survive. It's a wooden dock anyway, mm -hmm. um, just a simple kind of jetty and and, uh, and long pier. Um, and uh, you can see that the two guards that managed to jump clear uh, of the uh, the exploding wood find themselves suddenly pummeled to death by table legs. <laughs> yeah, um, I want to. I was thinking of using fog cloud to essentially obscure uh, where. So I assume that most of the civilians have now kind of panicked and got out of their houses. Most, but not all. Um, for the most part, most of this this large village, small town, um, are running down the central road uh, mm -hmm. towards. There is a, an opportune place that if you put it there, people wouldn't necessarily be able to fire using uh, ranged attacks at them because yeah. there would just be this fog cloud in the way. Yeah, if I'm you thinking of that, just obscuring fine. the, um, essentially uh, obscuring uh, them from the gods a bit from where the okay. majority of the guards are to just kind of create a fog wall where they can't use any ranged weapons anything because obviously you can't target where you can't see. <laughs> yeah. um, so the... Um, uh, I haven't picked up on something but I had some CGI for that, that's fine. Um, <laughs> the, uh, you, you do notice that there are some people screaming that there are, there are some households that aren't emptying yet. Um, okay. And if you want, you can go up to one of these town folk and find out more. Uh, yes, definitely will. Uh, we'll make my way you, there. You've got, you've got to help them. Uh, we've got the sick in that one there. They're going to need to be lifted out. Uh, oh. I, 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 but I, I, there's not enough, enough of us. I mean, I'll, I'll come back and help you if you want and, and, and help lift them away. Ava, uh, we need bodies. Summon. <laughs> <laughs> so... Maya, uh, Simon. Mm -hmm. Giant eagles are large beasts. Yes. Can we basically use them to ferry people via the sky to the ship? Absolutely, yeah. Mm -hmm. You'd have to get them out of the house because oh. you know the eagles can't get in. But mm -hmm. you drag them out of the house, the eagles will pick them up and fucking put them on, yeah. on the deck of the ship. Yep. Um, so I'm, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So I'm gonna. That's go the plan then. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Shall I go and shall I go and haul them out? That's yeah, the I'll idea. help with my nine strength. <laughs> Thanks. Um, okay, da Dalgal, as you uh, as you walk up, you see one of the other households that isn't um, uh, uh, that isn't uh, leaving. Uh, yeah. There is a NPC generator because this guy's a dick. Uh... So, so yeah, so so my priorities are to get the injured out 
Uh, but mm. for above that, if there are any guards looking to enter any of their houses, that would be my priority to tackle those guards. Okay. Um, so yeah, you can see that uh, that now that you've got a way of conveying them uh, with these two giant eagles <laughs> appearing in, um, and uh, yeah, there, there are some of the townsfolk who are willing to kind of get them out so they can be airlifted to safety. Um, the uh, you can see that there is a uh, a torn male who is uh, blocking the doorway of a house. He doesn't seem to be a guard. He's going, no, I'm just about to be promoted. They said that they would promote me. They said that I would be able to get more money. We were, we were on our way out. As long as, we, uh, as long as we stay, we will be the loyal ones. They'll reward us. And uh, you can see a, um, a, a, a Goliath woman uh, who seems to be in her in her sixties, I guess. Mm. Turn it, uh, turn around to her and say, "You're a fucking idiot." He's just saying, "Look, if it's just me on my own, it's not going to be enough. I need you to stay here." She starts kind of punching on his chest and stuff, and goes, "If I was not exhausted, Garrix, I would fucking kill you." And he goes, "Just sit the fuck down," and throws her back into the uh, into the house. You can hear there's some other people there who are less. Uh, likely than her to challenge him. He goes, everyone, fucking sit down. We're going to stay here, but you'll all be rewarded. Trust me on this one. Uh, okay. Uh, Dal, it looks like someone needs mm -hmm. to go and speak to him. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to step up um, with, with my hammer. I just walk up and say, listen, son, you can't make decisions for everyone else. Let them leave. You can stay. Otherwise, we're going to have a bit of a situation. Fuck off, Stump. These guys want to leave, they can leave. We're staying here. Alphonse will follow up behind Dalgo as well for support. Yeah. 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 And Stump is a bad name for a dwarf. Yes. Mm, not that one. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> me and Ava are ferrying out people, or like yeah. dragging out people yeah. to the eagles. <laughs> You're busy. Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> behind you, two eagles just come down, and two uh, mm. injured people, one of them fucking delirious, goes, What? <laughs> 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 As the <laughs> medical helicopter equivalent. Come on, Macaroon! Um, you and Marsupan got this! <laughs> <laughs> um, and yeah, the, these, these ill people are screaming at the top of their lungs as they have never flown before <laughs> and now are flying in the clutches of this giant fucking bird of prey. It's like putting a really sick person on a roller coaster for the first time. <laughs> yeah. just happened. Yeah. By the way, you might want to look at what Squamps just said. Uh... Oh, uh, yep, yep, sorry, I, was, mm -hmm. I still had the uh, thing up. Okay. Hi, Minion uh, again! Yes, we're still alive. <laughs> you missed the best part. <laughs> there was a yeah. fireball! <laughs> a fireball hiccup. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're still alive, but yes, Scornfuse cast fireball. Yeah. What the magic. way that <laughs> only Scornfuse can. <laughs> uh, yeah, no ball magic. Yeah, Scornfuse used a wild magic burst and mm -hmm. had a fireball centered on themselves. <laughs> um, <laughs> we're failing forward, is what we're doing. Yeah, I, I love the phrase. Um, so, <laughs> uh, uh, so Scornfuse, uh, you're looking to see if any uh, guards are hiding behind buildings. Um, sure, I like it. I like it. Uh, you can see that there are a pair of guards. Uh, that are currently looting what seems to be a confiscation house. Just a small outhouse building where if anybody comes with any unauthorized materials, uh, they steal them off. Basically, usual refugee stuff, and if the refugees have any shit um, that's worth something, it gets stolen from you. Um, and yeah, uh, if you want, you can go and take your fellow skags, Prime and Hermit, uh, to go and... Um, Persuade them that they don't deserve those items, if you will. <laughs> um, so, uh, <laughs> uh, if you do Sweet. want to persuade them otherwise, Skag Attack for, uh, for Scornfused, Hermit Acid uh, and Skag Attack for Hermit, and Skag Attack with Pistol for Prime. Uh, if you manage to kill both the guards, you will get to loot. Cast um, them so over without words, swaying my hands before pointing at the building. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, yep, as the Skags are going off their own mini-adventure, uh, Dalgul, you've got this fucking huge Minotaur in front of you. Um, and yeah, he, he's he's just there and he, he, he's intimidated everybody in his house. 
you can see they're all quite muscular in his house. It seems to be a bunch of people that are good workers and things, um, but he's just dwarfs them all. You don't need these. Pe- you don't need these people. Though. They're, they're not going to pay you. It's not. It, it, we're the best workhouse in the village. I'm they sure fucking you are, but... have us. We get paid. We get bonuses. We got all sorts of shit. They can bring in them the extra fucking also rounds and all the rest of it. We'll be running the show. Especially considering when some of those fucking guards are being killed right now. Guess who's going to be the next fucking guards? Well, it right? might be We're good. Fuck, fuck off. Fuck off. Now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay. I will uh, squarely push it in the chest. <laughs> sure. Give me an attack. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, it's natural one. Uh, <laughs> oh no! Natural one, you go up and push him. Fuck it, it's like pushing a brick wall. Mm-hmm. Um, he's going to attack you in response. Um, is the right thing to do. Because mm-hmm. uh, that was effectively your initiative. Um, mm-hmm. And he swings, and you're just like, yeah, you're clearly a workman, mate. Whoosh. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you just, bitch. Go, go. Mind if I give <laughs> this a try? Not at all. Um, while you're doing that on my next action, I will uh, rage. Yeah, sure. sure. I'm not, I'm not <laughs> I gonna will att- rage. <laughs> I'm not going to attack yet, but instead I'm going to intimidate him. And I'll say, look, you don't want to mess with this dwarf. Get out of the way. You are trash to these people. You'll live if you come with us and run. Staying here, you'll be dead by tonight. Okay. He's not, you know, he's accustomed to bandying words with uh, muscle-bound dwarves, but this sickly-looking human just staring him in the eye. Um, give me an intimidate check. Uh, he, he's thrown off guard by this. I am proficient. And you're a haunted one, aren't you? So And proficient. Yep, I do it. Uh, yeah, there's just something about your words that makes him go, who the fuck are you? 21. 21. I... He, uh, he looks at you and goes, ah. oh, fuck. Um, slams his uh, hand against the door, busting it off its hinges, and just goes, well, come on then, uh, to the people in the house, and bull rushes uh, the nearest guard. Oh, <laughs> nice. Nice. Just so you know, I had I, I had it. I had it on the control. I, 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 I knew what I was doing. It's fine, but, but thanks. I was kind I was... of hoping he'd fight you, but I didn't think it would Macaroon! work that well. Another injured over here. Okay. The, the, guy looks, the guy looks at the fucking uh, giant eagle coming down and going, "It's just a sprain, necklace, just a sprain." <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, hermit, uh, give me a hermit acid. Prime, give me a pistol, and then all three of you give me a skag attack. That is going to be your sneak attack, basically. Your uh, uh, what is it? It's um, uh, surprise attack, not sneak attack. Surprise attack. Um, and uh, the total number of hit points you need to do are um, at the armor class of 16, total the amount of damage you need to do to take them both out is uh, 22. Oh, fuck, here we go. Jesus uh, God. <laughs> okay. ah. Oh, shit. Not, not just a, a hit, a real bad hit as well. So 2d6 Ooh. damage for Hermit as the acid uh, hits them full, uh, full blast. Uh, the Dreadlock pistol hits, taking eight, uh, throwing eight damage in right from the start. Uh, Stormfuse comes in, bites one of them, uh, 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 but uh, it doesn't get through the chain. Um, Aura Prime uh, ru- uh, runs up and with the uh, whoa eight and seven damage. Uh, yeah, that, that, that's fifteen points of damage just from uh, Prime as he comes in, and just chops the fuck out of them. Uh, eight points from uh, uh, from Hermit's acid, which means that. Uh, yeah, this is going to be short lived. And then <laughs> yeah. Hermit comes in with another three points of damage as well. Uh, so know. that's an extra uh, well, damage that's... on what was already. That's yeah, that... 26 points of damage as you guys jump in and fucking <laughs> obliterate <laughs> two guys. guards. <laughs> that, um, this is what's supposed to happen. <laughs> uh, Hermit Prime Scornfuse, uh, type in exclamation point loot twice as uh, you end up looting the booty. Jesus uh, Christ, guys. <laughs> You're getting the booty. Yep. Um, so uh, I like the, the booty. Oh, oh the another dog. dog. Oh, 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 make up the dog. <laughs> um, sorry, there's, there's a, I can't make it less than five second cooldown on Nightbot. So uh, there we go. And Ooh, Brian's fifty got, gold. Uh, fifty gold pieces. Nice. That's, a, that's a big payday for a fucking mm. skag. Um, uh, uh, try the, loot again, Scum. Oh, actually, uh, that actually was. Oh, yeah, that that was Aura. So Aura's got yeah, fifty gold. Uh, yeah, j- just uh, uh, just keep doing it. Uh, 
maybe we should have done a bit of an order to it. But uh, yeah, somebody yeah. else put loot oh, in. Oh well, we'll remember that for next so, campaign. So, uh, Scumfuse, uh, yeah, gold he gra ingot. grabs a gold ingot and goes, Fuck, why is this in here? Why do they take this? Um, <laughs> Ten gold pieces. Um, and then each of you do it one more time. So, um, yeah, go have uh, it first. Ooh. Then, or... Hermit, Ooh. you found a big barrel of lamp oil. Ooh. Very flammable. The alchemist lamp oil. The oil. <laughs> no, oh the no! Alchemist oh, got no. flammable things. Now that is interesting. Oh, um, average clothing. Oh, oh no! no. Oh, so go on the next one. Uh, yeah, some mouldy clothing. Uh, you did get fifty was gold pretty pieces. Good, yeah, well, you got fifty gold pieces. In there. And then one more for uh, Scumfuse. Uh, uh, oh, fuck. Oh, no! Oh, no. my God! Oh, fuck, you rolled 81. <laughs> no. <laughs> we got the oil! And You've got a explosives. barrel of oil and a consignment of explosives. <laughs> We're dead. <laughs> well, Hermit has the oil, Scorpius have the explosives, at least they're not the same. Yeah. Hermit is grin. <laughs> okay. Um... <laughs> Well, you, you know, can set the could... empty buildings on fire just with regular torches. What you've got there is the makings of effectively a small napalm explosion. You, you can um, just uh, blow up the mage tower with it. Yeah. Uh, well, not the, not the mage tower. That that's fucking huge. But uh, well, let's say when there's a significant obstacle, remember that you have these items. Uh, <laughs> the cobalt has explosives. He's already <laughs> cast fireball. <laughs> 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 I think just 81 is the most uh, the most explosive thing that got in there. I actually made a point with um, exclamation point loot of after I wrote them all out, I took the piece of paper and I threw it in the bin. So some of these are surprising me as they come <laughs> up because I, I thought about them and then I got rid of them. So, You're like, yeah, that's going to be fine. Oh, wow. Just okay. So you've like got money to bribe really people. Late. You've got uh, some moldy clothing, whatever that will do for you, and some oil. Well, and some they're explosives. currently na half naked, so well, yeah, they can wear some like moldy naked or foul-smelling clothing. clothing. Mm. I mean, really, you know. Uh, anyway, so oh, um, yeah. Uh, so uh, Felicia, by this time, the uh, you've solved the problem of the sick, um, uh, which means that uh, you get karma. Um, uh, Danny and Jordan, you've managed to uh, persuade the bullheaded mm -hmm. um, Minotaur <laughs> to uh, to let people go. In the fights. And uh, you can see that uh, that's pretty much all of them now. Uh, it was the sick and the one reluctant uh, that was in your way. Um, you can see, however, that um, the guards have banded together um, and they don't seem the most skilled, but they are forming a um, an attack group against the one group that seems to be remaining, which is you guys. Mm -hmm. um, and um, they are charging you, the officers. Um, so um, we're just going to do this uh, nice and simple. I'm not going to bother with the um, uh, regular initiative. You, uh, they have numbers, but you are more skilled. You have initiative. Um, so uh, there are a total of uh, eight guards rushing you um, that I've got here. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Throw me some attacks. Are we going to do an order between just us four? Uh, uh, if you want, you can all roll off to see who goes first amongst you guys. I'm gonna that. throw in uh, Ice Fang in the middle of their group. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, if if uh, everyone's okay with you going first, so um, with an Ice Fang on this, you think you'll get three people. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so roll to hit. Is this gods or mages? Oh, uh, Scomfuse, roll me a d20 to uh, see if you can find the bottles. That you want. That's a 19 hit. Uh, 19 does hit. Yeah, so how much stabbing damage for the first one? <laughs> Five. You do not find any bottles. Uh, all the bottles um, have been broken by a recent explosion. It's <laughs> confused. <laughs> ah. Sorry, what was that, Felicia? Eight piercing damage. Uh, eight piercing damage. Uh, this, guy, uh, this guy gets the uh, ice knife dead on in the gut. Uh, looks like a mortal wound, but he's not dead yet. 
Then they must make a DC 15 deck save. Okay, I'm going to do one for the lot. This is like a minion group in um, uh, Genesis. Uh, 12, I, uh, that's plus, hmm, let me get this right, one. So that's 13, I assume that's a fail? That is a fail. Give me the explosion damage. That is eight. Again, I rolled a five and a three. Uh, yep, so the first one dies and the other two are uh, uh, on their last legs. Uh, so you've got uh, five at 11 hit points and two at three hit points. Lovely, because you said that we finished ferrying the sick, yes, so I have two giant eagles that are gonna attack you. Sure. Are they attacking the sick ones or the, uh, or the uh, fully decked out ones? They'll take care of the sick ones first. Okay, sure. Uh, give, sick give me two gods? rolls, two attacks. Yeah. Uh, the ones I just hit. Uh, yeah, yeah the, my, the, the two uh, frozen thing. guards. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> with the ice tanks explosion. Our hermit's dog is called Peanut. So oh. Peanut and oh, Bagel now. Good. Peanut yeah. and bagel, yeah. yeah. We are... Okay, let's see. So giant eagles. Beak melee attack plus five, and I rolled a 12 and a 15, so that is plus five, that's 17, 17 and 20. 20. Yep, yeah. okay, both hits. Uh, roll for damage. I have a feeling even the base damage will kill these guys. Mm -hmm. So one takes eight damage, and the other takes six. I don't know what the skags are doing, but I... I oh, know, uh, I'm just reading this as well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, in the corner of my eye, I'm getting anxiety, <laughs> anxiety going, what are they doing? Uh, uh, so, yep. Uh, is that damage for both of them, yeah? Uh, yeah, one to gate and uh, one to six. One to six, yep, great. And um, then, they, uh, are they dead? Oh, yeah, oh god, yeah. Uh, oh, they, yeah. they have two attacks oh. each, don't they? So they you do. watch yeah. as... Just like a flyby, um, it's almost like it's something from Kill Bill, where the two um, eagles go past and just slash out their throats as they're kind of <laughs> with the ice. They just go straight and just pluck out the throats of these uh, two guards. So these are two beak attacks, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, no, now it's talons. Now it's talons. Okay, so the beaks snap out the uh, throats. Yeah. Now it's talon attacks uh, on two completely different guards or two attacks on one guard. Uh, two different ones. There were eight of them, so let's cool. start picking them down a little bit. Yeah. Yep. And that is a 16 and a 21. Uh, 16 and 21, both hit. Lovely. I love are that they, they like have plus five. Are they like running in a line, Simon? <laughs> uh, it, it's a mishmash. <laughs> uh, the first one takes seven damage. Uh, yep, seven, yep. The second one takes nine damage. Uh, yep, sure. Yep. Yeah. And mm -hmm. then they basically... Uh, yeah, they're heavily bleeding. Heavily, yeah. heavily bleeding, yeah. Okay. Uh, wow, three dead, two uh, heavily wounded. Um, uh, I, I would have put more in if I'd remembered about the fucking eagles. Mm -hmm. um, so anyway, uh, this, this is this is all mostly yep. cinematic as you're going up to the real fight. So yeah, um, oh. and uh, so who would like to go next? You've got two heavily bleeding guards and three that are coming forward. I'd a like little... to go Yeah, sure, go for it, John. Okay. Just because uh, if I don't do enough damage, it's going to help whoever hits them afterwards. Sure. I'm going to yeah, twin exactly. spell guiding bolt. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I forgot mm -hmm. you could do that. Yep. I'd need to play a divine sorcerer at some point. It, uh, I've actually got a Tezcacotl that I want to play. Who's a divine sorcerer? Ooh. It's a uh, vigilance Tezcacotl. I mentioned him in the benefactor. Um, That's Glory's yeah. cousin. Yeah. Ish. Yeah. Uh, uh, it, it's a turnabout where I want to play something that is technically DM or world built by Felicia, which yeah. I like the turnabout. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, so, um, uh, yeah. Uh, yep. Give me your rolls. Aiming at full health, peop uh, two different full health. Yep. Uh, first one. Ooh! <laughs> and that 20, 28. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, roll for damage. That okay. double damage, <laughs> Dan double Simon. Dice. Yeah, double, uh, double dice. damage. That's 8d6 I threw for 25 damage. <laughs> <laughs> you just watch okay. as Alf uh, Alphonse just goes like that, and the guy just fucking. Uh, well, actually, it's divine. Uh, it's divine, radiant. It's divine. Uh, there's a uh, a pillar of golden light, and nothing is there. Yeah. <laughs> so, that was one of them. You should do that. He ain't dead, he just went home. <laughs> <laughs> so that one's gone. 
Uh, for the other one, that is a 24. Hello, Mr. Hook. Yeah, that hits. Uh, and the damage is a lot. That's 20 damage again. Uh, yeah, you just watch just <laughs> two, two beams of golden light, and it's like fucking Star Trek. <laughs> they're gone. They're gone. Okay, never I'm mind. Not even sure they're dead. They're just gone. gone. They're just no longer a problem. Am Those... I right in thinking there's one healthy one left? There's one healthy one and two heavily bleeding ones. <laughs> I'm just leaning on my hammer. Yeah. <laughs> uh... Yes. Just start to play cards with the other dwarves. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. This was supposed to just be like a thematic thing. I kind that's of what, put, the, what I I put the fucking to. Minotaur there for Dalgal. It was just like, oh, Dalgal, there's a big fucking guy. You and then like, really push him. And then I'm like, well, <laughs> just like, I'll just watch. I'll just watch. <laughs> Go ahead. We did the talkie thing. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah. One, one on full health. Two. One on full health and two that are sickly. Uh, okay, as I in. would like... Two injured ones. Boom, boom! Yeah, I'd like to rage and run in and uh, go for one of the injured ones. <laughs> sure. Uh, yeah, and I guess... uh, Yeah, go on. Yeah, roll, roll to hit, yeah. Okay, uh, <laughs> no. That will be a... 12? Uh, tw 12 to hit. Uh, doesn't hit. Yes. He no. Dodges, it uh, dodges out the way, <laughs> gripping his side. Uh, but I think you get two attacks, don't you, at this I stage? I do. So, yeah. And here comes my second one, and it is a ooh, 17. Better. 17 hits, roll for damage. Oh, don't worry, I'm just taking notes as to what's going on on my right-hand side here. Um, <laughs> it is a... I was going to say, are you, keep, are you paying attention to what the boys are doing? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Eight, nine, ten points damage. Uh, yeah, uh, you just go. You go straight up, and uh, these guys have seen you do some pretty nasty kills. But with that much there, and how much uh, life you had uh, left, um, he's holding his side with fucking bird. You know, uh, scratched part of his guts out. He's holding his in, in his intestines. He's kind of bending down in perfect position, and you just fucking watermelon his head. Um, <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, oh, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. there's bits everywhere. Yeah. It's disgusting. <laughs> um, at, at that point, a building explodes. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, um, We've already got our distraction. <laughs> yeah, we don't need more. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, we got a distraction all right. I don't know if you've been reading chat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I don't know which building they chose, but I want uh, whose idea was it? It was Scornfuse's idea. Scornfuse, roll me a luck dice, which is just a d20. Uh, the target in this case is 18 to 20. Uh, no. Uh, yeah, a random domicile blows the fuck up. Um, now there's two fiery pillars uh, reaching up into the sky. The original house that's gone for uh, Fuse Fireball, um, and the second one, which uh, they uh, they used the explosives on. Uh, so the explosives have been used, and so has the oil. Um, as uh, this uh, house explodes with such force that it is going to catch the other buildings next to it on fire. Uh, the great fire of whatever the fuck this village is called <laughs> <laughs> has begun. Um, oh no! So, so um, before and before my yeah, just before my turn ends, I also get a lightning strike on the on the other uninjured one. And oh wow! Because he only has two hit points, so uh, yeah, he needs to make yeah. a death saving throw. Or it is lamp oil. Yeah, it's not a good flavor oil. <laughs> Uh, plus yeah. one on this. Yeah, he rolled a three. He's dead. <laughs> so yeah, so the, the one guy goes, pfft, the other guy looks at it and kind of goes, I, and as he says, I, <laughs> this lightning bolt just fires <laughs> from Dalgal's body, um, hits him in the center of the chest, and there's a smoking hole in his heart. Holes, and the guy <laughs> oh, just no. goes back down as he was surrendering. Um, there's one guy left who's... <laughs> Sure. Yeah. And he, I'm like... He's holding his cudgel, and the cudgel is shaking. Do you surrender? Like, just evaporated around him. Oh, <laughs> fucking... Shit, I surrender! 
Cool. Get on ship. <laughs> he, he, try, he tries to drop the cudgel and realizes that his hands have atrophied yeah. and just kind of shakes it loose um, and starts running from the ship. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the poor guy. <laughs> He's like, there's eight of us, there's four of them, we can do this, everyone yeah, evaporates. And then it's just, like, <laughs> <laughs> then it's just Within him. like six seconds. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm like, surrender, he's like, yes! <laughs> Don't feel co too good, they, these guys are like CR18, but yeah. Yes. Uh, <laughs> they're enough to intimidate villagers. Um, yeah, um, and uh, yeah, you can see that uh, whatever guards are left now, especially after this incredibly bloody display as they were doing their own charge of the Light Brigade, uh, the um, uh, the rest of them are either attempting to uh, bargain their way onto the ship. Uh, you can see that some people have taken Logan's um, uh, example and started stripping off whatever uh, identifies them as guards um, and throwing away their cudgels and just running with them. You can see a few of them are unsuccessful to get onto the ship um, as uh, they get uh, either bludgeoned to death by uh, various bits of broken furniture. Um, uh, one of them gets drowned in the sea by a dwarf. Uh, apparently there's some sort of story there. Um, uh, the, the, uh, the dwarf is crying and screaming as he does so. Um, you can see that uh, standing proud on the, uh, the ship, um, her witchlock pistol in hand, Um, is Captain Horn, and uh, you can see that uh, her other hand is outstretched like this, and there's a frost, uh, like a rhyme, uh, coming off her hand. Everybody's walking while well, running over ice to the ship. She's frozen all the water between the ship and the shore. Um, Very cool. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, you can hear her shout, "You skags!" Apparently I can't do a fucking accent. <laughs> <laughs> you I default into some sort of, I don't know. Uh, as she goes, Yo, oh, Skags, get on there, help them on. And then after that, take ID. And you can see that the Skags are trying to raid whatever they can from the buildings that aren't yet on fire. <laughs> um, Which isn't many yeah. of them at this point. Yeah. No. You guys as the Vanguard uh, know that everything behind you now is safe. There is a long road, uh, well, not a long road, but there is a, a, a winding path that goes up the hill. <laughs> At side least the, of the night town, won't be as cold. Up to, the, uh, up to the Mage's Tower. You can see that lights are coming on as the day shift mercenaries um, uh, are waking up to a brightly lit artificial sunrise <laughs> coming from the town. And you can see that uh, the few windows that are in the Mage's Tower are going, turning on with magical light as they're preparing for this salt of the second. And that mm. is what we're going to pick up with next week. <laughs> oh, that was I was going to like scream, you free pyromaniacs just volunteered. Come on. <laughs> it's like, you fucking started this, you're coming with us. <laughs> they, were the, they were the most piratey people in there so far. Oh yeah, they're yeah. great. Some proper piracy. We love you guys' yeah. roleplay. Please come and keep it up next Monday. It is, it is amazing to see. Notch. Yes. I need um, to get the freight in again wherever he is and see if we can get hold of him. I missed the freight. Yeah, I uh, have a lot of polished cannonballs. Skags, <laughs> man. Uh, we're we're going to be doing more uh, more skag stuff, I swear. Um, like, yes, the humanoid horn stuff. Let's go, Mario. Oh, scum. Scum. <laughs> <laughs> Very observant, little cobalt. Oh yeah, your map's gone, Scorm. It went with your barrel and your clothes. Your bag is pristine, though, because magical items. Um, 
to right. get them We right. are going to do a very quick raid because it is 11 o'clock now. Yes. Um, and it is time for us to end. A huge thank you to uh, Danny, Jordan, Corinne, and Felicia <laughs> for doing what story they could to contend with this <laughs> wonderful story <laughs> exactly. in the chat. <laughs> As always, oh I'm Simon. We are just a side show honor. by now. Yeah, we've you're accepted just, you're just, it. You're just there. Yeah. Next time we make a <laughs> plan, let's make the real it stories in the well. chat. Yeah. Um, uh, I'm Simon. As always, it is my fucking honor and pleasure to be your DM. And uh, our next uh, game is uh, same time tomorrow night. So uh, 8 p.m. to 11 p.m. GMT. So uh, that's. Uh, 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, wow. I'm, I'm, get, I'm getting wow. better. The I'm fact getting better. that you can Man. remember that oh, God. <laughs> um, is uh, uh, going to be uh, Star Wars Legends of the Sprawl as we start the uh, the final chapter of uh, the Star Wars game as we are going Sith hunting. We are going to hunt down and possibly die to Darth Solaris um, as we go for uh, the full-on nemesis. You're film. saying that like she can keep up with Victoria. We'll see. Uh, so uh, we're going to do a raid now to uh, some lovely people who uh, uh, sometimes they've come and uh, 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 and watched us. Uh, other times uh, we've been playing with them. Well, I've been playing with them, and uh, Karen's been playing with them on Among Us, and uh, plays with Kate Madison as well. So let's uh, let's go, and we're going to raid. Hmm. There's a bunch of them playing, but I think I want to raid uh, the food cart gamer who has uh, jumped in on some of our games here, oh, yes. uh, from time to time and has been a viewer. Uh, so uh, when we go in there, for those of you who are uh, subscribers, spam those emotes. Uh, I want to see those uh, chaotic neutral symbols in there. I'm uh, right. Not, I need to repair uh, hermit stress. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> oh. uh, so, uh, yep. Uh, see you all on Discord or for Star Wars. Yep. Or if you're not around till Friday, we'll see you on The Benefactor. Uh, but yes, we will see you tomorrow night. Let's go and do a raid. Good night, everybody. Good, Good night. night. Bye. Bye. Uh...